Dalmatian. Twitch is freezing on you? Oh, my bad. Dude. Hello! Hello, hello, hello. Howdy, everyone. Thank you for joining us today. We are playing more Final Fantasy 16. Hopefully finishing Final Fantasy 16 today. Uh, we're near the end. <laughs> I don't know how many side quests and hunts and things they're gonna, like, open up at the end, though. So I'm not sure. I know we only have, like, four-ish more main quests to do. I think there was either five, four, three, th three to five, I can't remember, uh, more hunts that need to unlock at some point. I'm not sure about the side quest, though. But there's a possibility. We're going to try. We got about four hours of playtime. You see, Clive. Maybe. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Also, if hello to the Yubcubs. Today, we must all play our part. And ours. Ours lies beyond those doors. Mm -mm -mm. Uh, sure. Let's go. We fought long and hard for this moment. Sid's dream. Our dream is within our grasp. We need only endure this final trial. And we shall. Together. See, <laughs> they make it sound so, so final, right? Like, this is it. But I know for a fact this isn't the final mission. <laughs> you all know what it is that awaits us beyond this gate. And we shall face it together. Hi. Oh. <laughs> you thought. <laughs> Poor Goops, man. Lele attack. What is up, girl? Didn't expect you here. I will stay them. We will stay them. Go. Just don't keep us waiting. Thank you. <laughs> yummy, yummy, yummy. Actually, kind of had to be. Not gonna lie. Look who it is! It's our bestie! Oh. That doesn't look good. What'd he just do to Torgle? <laughs> Did he... Did he steal the dog? Was that the goal the entire time? The dog? Because hasn't Torgle been like slowly getting all of the, uh, <laughs> the, the icon shit as well? From spending time with all of us? Just like Clive? Oh, I didn't even see us get sucked into the portal. <laughs> <laughs> Bruh, <laughs> I'd love if that was the plot twist to the game, though. <laughs> Ultima just wanted a, a fucking Torgle this entire time, man. Joshua. Joshua, wake up. He's fine. He's the Phoenix. Clive, is that you? No, it's your brother. This, Drive. This is isn't stone here. Welcome to our darkness. A rift between worlds wherein your kind... Chocobo, hello, sir. Reflect. Show yourself! Grave and many are the sins of man. And we would have you know them. All of them. What about your sins, Mr. As Ultima, sir? I don't think you're uh, innocent here. You home, consider this our welcoming gift. Question of the day. What's your biggest gaming pet peeve, it guys? Seem we are trapped. And the only way out... He's through Ultima. We find him 
and we leave. Mine is <laughs> kind of topical here. Uh, games that are needlessly padded with pointless content. <laughs> like, <laughs> that's probably my biggest. I'm also really bothered by games that don't follow convention for like a uh, button layout. That also is a bit of a pet peeve of mine, but it's not as bad. Unconvincing block paths, those are terrible too, yeah. Here's this this single little crate that you could easily jump over. You can literally see yourself jumping over it, but nope. <laughs> Can't get over that, God forbid. I left HDR turned on on my monitor, and uh, I don't know if this area is just meant to be kind of hard to see or if it's because of the HDR, but <laughs> it is kind of hard to see in here, not gonna lie. Are my glasses dirty? Maybe my glasses are dirty. Hold on. Yeah, a little bit. Not that bad, though. If you are to comprehend the full extent of your transgressions, we must go back to the beginning. Like, when the very beginning? Still young. Ooh. We visited upon it a miracle, magic, and in its light did all life flourish. True, true. Yet the price for this boon would prove heavy. A pall descended upon the land, painting the horizon black as night. Though we labored to forestall its spread, in this one endeavor, we stood powerless. And so we fled, that we might endure, endure, that we might discover a means of salvation. He's a good villain. If it was magic that caused the blight, what of the mother crystals? I think this is probably the best written game of the series, just period, to be honest with you. Um, has some really good characters, really good villains. It just sucks that it was so needlessly padded with side quests and and systems like crafting that do nothing you know <laughs> like <laughs> that were just so utterly pointless <laughs> like legitimately because the difference between we don't have the best sword in the game yet sorry we're gonna we're gonna detour here real quick go back so we have ragnarok the best sword in the game oh we can't see it but it's a little bit more strong than this right the next best sword that we have is only 10 fucking attack lower so even if assuming that the best sword is another 10 above that that's only 20 attack and 20 stagger lower than the next best sword that we have access to right now or that we've unlocked at least like so like even the ultimate equipment right like the best equipment in the game that we spent all that time doing all the side quests fighting all of the hunts and shit for to get hardly make a difference <laughs> like it's not I don't know, man. Well, I mean, okay. To be fair, though, I guess this other shit we also unlocked through hunts and shit like that. If we were using the Rune Blade, which is a regular craftable that you don't need to do side quests or anything for, it's 30 weaker. So it is fair bit weaker than what we have right now. But one of these, I think it's Mas Masamune here, we, we unlocked, we found in a chest. I'm pretty sure. And that's only 15 weaker. So... Which, honestly, I would like chests a hell of a lot more if I didn't spend the time doing the, uh, the, the side quests and shit and just found that naturally. Like, if the crafting system didn't exist or was just for really basic items, you know, and, uh, I found this organically, that would have actually been kind of exciting. But because I spent the time doing all the other shit, like, it just was like, oh, that's a neat looking sword and then never use it. <laughs> huh. Needlessly padded with fesh quest star. Yeah, true. True, yeah. 
Some of them weren't too bad. Again, I like the ones where we actually learn a little bit of lore about the game, but everything was just so long-winded, which I guess is a point against the writing. Um, but it takes... A lot of times it ends up taking them, you know, 10, 15 minutes to say something they could have said in two or three. was not readily to be had. First, we would require a land unvisited by the stain of corruption. An unprecedented journey lay before us. One beyond the limits of our fleshly bodies. And so we cast them off. Thus stripped to our very spirit did we find our new paradise. A land as pure as driven snow. Valisthea. Hmm, okay. There would the true work begin. For the black crept yet behind us. And soon did we arrive at a solution. The illness having spread to every organ. There was but one escape from this fate. To start afresh. With a new world. The one for which Barnabas labored. A paradise free from the blight where his god awaits. And where, if we only forfeit our wills and abandon everything we hold dear, but like humanity can join him. Is it actually, though? So, <laughs> a paradise? Ultima would have us follow in the footsteps of the king. Follow, we shall. For now. I can disable hydrate. <laughs> I'm just throwing that out there, Lele. Because, <laughs> like, the way we've heard it, at least up till now, is that he basically wanted to turn everybody a Kashik, you know, and just mindless zombies, essentially. Rude. <laughs> oh, it's fine. You'll get over it. This reminds me of uh, Kingdom Hearts 2.8. Was it 2.8? I think it's 2.8. Would require not only power, but a constitution strong enough to wield it. Acquiring the first would be simple. Untouched by the blight, Valisthea was replete with ether, and we had only to place jewels in her crown to claim it. Acquiring the second, however, demanded creativity. And so I cast forth the seeds of humanity. You created us. Is that not what gods do? We sowed the seeds for you, Muthos, all that you might one day blossom. And our future thus secured, we thought to slumber, though that would prove a grave mistake, for it was as we slept that man committed his greatest sin. He awoke. Alone in a world bereft of his god's radiance, he stumbled blindly, desperate for guidance. Finding no light, he sought to kindle his own, and from that single errant impulse, was his will born. Having discovered himself at last, man turned his eyes inward and found he desired evermore that which only magic might afford. So wars were waged and brothers slain for custody over that dwindling resource and the land 
she wept tears of black. You would condemn us for this. Surely he cannot be so blind to his own hypocrisy. Not blind. Just unwilling to admit the truth. Though we are one and the same. We also got to question how much we can trust him, though. Because, like, he's used a lot of deceit up to this point to get what he wants why would he now tell you know no, the whole truth and nothing but the truth <laughs> like I'm inclined to believe him because lore but can't actually guarantee what he's saying is true so help me Ultima <laughs> our lord and savior <laughs> Does that mean Ultima's Gregor? Ooh. Is that... Ifrit. Or what's left of him. Long have our ashes lain cold for want of a spark. Cast your eyes upon them and see what you must become. <sighs> Valisthea cannot endure a second claim upon her being. The avarice of man drives her ever closer to destruction, but she may yet be saved by you. It is what you were born to do. Why we nursed you and fed you as your own mother should have. And now that you are fully grown, Armuthos, it is time at last for you to serve your purpose. To right your wrongs. If our sin is wanting to survive, then you are as marked by it as we are. The fault is yours. Our wills were born because you abandoned us. And now, you would have us forfeit them. All for a place in your new paradise. Do you imagine yourselves worthy of one? Mankind has no place in our world. Is this truly so difficult to comprehend? We only ever require you, Muthos, when the time comes to bid this wretched realm farewell. None shall follow, none shall remain. What do you mean, none? This is our world. Once the land's rebirth is complete, humanity will have served its purpose. Why would there it we is. continue to suffer that which has caused us so much vexation? Because the land doesn't belong to you. It belongs to us all! What? <laughs> that is where you are mistaken. You are nothing but your precious will. Brother. I can't do this alone. You're just now realizing that? You don't have to. I'm curious, like, he keeps saying us. Weary of your descent. Is Ultima the embodiment of a bunch of gods? Or does he just refer to himself as us? Like, <laughs> My 
my friends, my family. We have all suffered, all fought to survive. This world may be flawed, it may be broken, but it's all we have. And if we can't share it, I see only one other choice. <laughs> Him in his persona. <laughs> My God, dude! <laughs> you have to go. I guess that's one way to refer to icons. <laughs> but it's time we lived on our own terms. This isn't your world anymore. It's us. Bow down, Avengers. Uh, ow. <laughs> Ooh, a pretty light show. Ow, dude. Dick. I'd rather not. Oh god. No. Go get him down. This isn't gonna be the last fight with Ultima, though. Like I'm 100% sure of that. This is just the warm-up round. Does that do percentage damage? I wonder. Damn, dude. Oh, is it for real? That sucks, dude. <laughs> I mean, it's not bad. It's just, you know. I expected more, that's all. Pretty colors. Uh, what's he doing now? Such foul intent may not be sublime through game sanding. Only with heads hung low is penance paid. Oh, wretched mortals incapable even of contrition. Oh god. I imagine we probably don't want to go into that. <laughs> okay, we're fine. Honestly, pretty much all the fights after Dion <laughs> are gonna be a little underwhelming, I feel like. Go into it is gone. I can't. Oh you bastard. Oh, what? <laughs> I didn't expect him to throw two spears. Oh, I missed the deadly embrace. That was my bad. Ah. You suddenly channeled Odin there, man.
no, 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 no. Ow. So rude, he just wanted a B? Just wanted to be what? I'm a B, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a B. <laughs> he just wanted to be doggo. Bruh. <laughs> uh, maybe you shouldn't have shattered it then. Just throwing that out there. <laughs> oh, there you go. You got his B. Oh, fuck. I didn't mean to cut that short. Oh, well. I hit the button too early. Nope. Nope. Those are big ass swords. <laughs> oh god. Okay, they keep going. Oh god. <laughs> that, is, that is a big boom. <laughs> yeah, it takes a lot to get them staggered, too. Okay. We got this though. We still got potions, elixir. We still got the last elixir if it decides to to proc. Frostbolt. Now we just stealing abilities. Oh. Oh, buddy. What I legitimately don't understand, though, like, if he is the only god, right? Like, what's the point of killing all the humans, then? <laughs> Wouldn't that just be boring at that point? <laughs> With, like, nothing but yourself in the entire world? Like, is your end goal just to have somewhere you can sleep endlessly alone? I don't... Empty, devoid of life. I hate people when I still want some. <laughs> like, <laughs> I still need people to, you know, make video games and movies and TV shows that I enjoy. To talk to every now and then online or whatever. Like, you can't just get rid of all people, dude. That's boring as shit. That's why he wanted the doggo. He needed a friend. I mean, fair. Fair. Torkoal makes a pretty great friend, too. I'd be jealous, too, actually, now that I think about it, man. Ah, you bastard. Didn't get the last one off. Oh shit, okay, we're still going. I thought, ah, I thought it was gonna be another exposition moment. Oh fuck, dude, <laughs> holy shit. <laughs> that was a pretty sick attack though. He got me there. Aw, oh, you dick. Can't see shit, dude. <laughs> Too much fire. Oh, 
kind of them to have that like push us back a little bit. <gasps> Why did oh? I'm so glad. <laughs> I don't know if like Diamond Dust gave us ooh, like immunity or something. I didn't think we were gonna get sucked into the event horizon while using it. Like, oh my god, dude! I got. I got scared there for a moment, not gonna lie. Oh, buddy. Dick. I mean, I didn't figure that would like fully block the damage, but you know, thought it was worth a shot. <laughs> Let's go! Get wrecked, guys. Back to work I go, enjoy more dinner. Wait, do you work today? I didn't realize you were working today. Well, have fun with that, dude. <laughs> Sucks to be you. <laughs> Your final hydrate. Mm. Thank you for making me have to pee even more. <sighs> I think this is the best way for him to use the iconic abilities. There's a segment. Wait, what? <laughs> I mean, have fun. <laughs> At last. <laughs> Oops. For countless generations have we awaited this moment. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. No, I gotcha. Your struggles have made you strong. Yet your soul remains heavy with sin. Absolution is nigh. Repent, and all shall be forgiven. We just get like mind melded. See, oh, yep, he's in our head. Oh, look at us, we're king. Is this what he thinks we want, though? Or, or no, he's showing us our memories. Kind of. What if he gave you more side quests? <laughs> Bro, tell don't me tell me. Guy, Jesus Christ. How many lives have you saved since taking my name? A few. Fewer than we have ruined. Wherever we go, we leave a sea of tears in our wake. These, these are the wages of your will, son. What good are our choices when all they ever bring, all they will ever bring, is death? There's no atoning, Clive. No matter how hard you try. So why not leave it all behind? My room just flashed? I don't... <laughs> I don't know if there's a storm going all on uh, if there's a storm going on outside or if it was the TV that I forgot to turn off.
Please, won't somebody save me? Won't anybody love me? I yearn, yet still she is not mine. Have I not given enough? From will is born desire, and it is this which consumes you, rendering you incomplete. Do you not see how the world bends and warps under the weight of your hungering hearts? What if it could all just go away? Just go away. Jesus Christ, Clive. <laughs> Are you seriously considering it? Bruh. <laughs> no, man. So at this point, I'm like 90% sure the entire game's just a hallucination of some man with like PTSD from childhood trauma. Like, wake up! <laughs> it's time to go home, Clive. Clive. That's right. You're my brother. Brother. It's a good thing we didn't murder Joshua when we were a child, right? Like, otherwise we would have been fucked. Also, what would have uh, Ultima done, right? Because he needs both of us. Are they ever gonna explain Ifrit <laughs> or Ifrit? Fuck. However they pronounce it in this game. Come. Remember who you are. What about Leviathan, man? <laughs> Are they going to explain Leviathan? No, they're not. I already know the answer to that one. But, like, <laughs> bro, why even include Leviathan? Once more, lest you forget. Unless it's going to be, like, a DLC or they have, like, a universe planned or something. My name is Clive. No Clive shit. Clive Rossfield. Good job. Early onset dementia. Okay. Good, good. Ultima. Even here, the light of the vessel's will cannot be quenched. And the phoenix, his trespass should not have been possible. Not possible unless... Unless... He has been with Muthos all along. The mark of the phoenix emblazoned upon his heart, made manifest by the power of will alone. The power of creation. Can it be? Are their wills truly so potent? S uh, what? <laughs> Did he, is he just saying we He's created Joshua? Talking. So is that to say Joshua did die, but our will created him? Like, <laughs> recreated him, I guess? The fuck? Rise. 
You're from Does Logos Ride? Who the fuck? Who the fuck is Logos? Oh, there goes the last crystal. Should have hit him harder. <laughs> Sorry to wake you, but I think it may be time to leave this place. Have you figured out how to leave yet? Because I haven't seen a door anywhere around here. Logos. But we will put an end to this hubris. What are you talking about? In the halls of origin, does our true power quicken? And there shall you be made complete. Soon, Muthos, soon you will discover how little you know of suffering. Menacing. Oh. Well, that was nice of him. To take us out of there before you know it all went to shit. Well, <laughs> goodbye, twin side. Jesus. For a moment when it started flying, dude, I thought it was going to turn into the fallen metal sort of shit, but... Nope. Ah! The bloody crystal's cracked, so where the hell are they? Oh, fuck me. <laughs> Is that ether? What in good Grieg's name is going on? This is wrong. Are we back? Clive! Joshua! Jill! So nice of the Akashic to just kind of stand by while, you know, everyone chats and shit. Is everyone all right? We're fine. What happened? Too much to explain here. 
Mate! We're leaving. Now. Everyone, fall back to the ship. I will be with you anon. Thank you. Why? Is he just wanting to show off? Does he have some other business here? Nope, he just wanted to show off. Okay. That was a real convenient teleport. I think it shows Ultima really does care, you know? <laughs> he just wants what's best for everyone. <laughs> Teleport us yourself if we have no other options. More motherfucking side quests. Yeah, I mean, I knew it was going to happen sooner or later. <laughs> but I need to tell everyone what happened there can't be many left, though, at I'm least. Need Otto's help. Crafting recipe available. Um. Okay, well, nothing's unlocked yet, so let's just go ahead and continue the main story for a moment, and then we'll check out the other There's shit. Oh, wait. Should be the last round? Thank fuck. <laughs> Still alive, I see. Something tells me that I saw on the horizon is your doing. How'd you manage that? It's a long story. Ultima is a side quest. One that I'd rather only tell once. The real game was the side quest all along. this everyone you sound disappointed man what <laughs> did you expect more this is everyone we've worked with since guess. the beginning the crystal which now commands the eastern skies was summoned by ultima he called it origin now the significance of that name is <laughs> as yet unclear what does it matter what that's good called? man that's good <laughs> Its emergence tore Twinside asunder and wiped my homeland from the map. Mention of the Dominion Spires can be found in the oldest of Valisthian records. But to the best of my knowledge, none provide any hint as to their true nature that they would prove the horns of some slumbering demon. Well, the Dominion's demise was at least quick. Elsewhere, the Republican army cannot hope to contain the chaos engulfing Randalar. Canber is in flames, and the Empire. Our allies are crying out for answers. I've sent the curse breakers to give them what assurances we can, but right now that amounts to fuck all. They wouldn't be able to stop what the skies have started in any case. People here and across the realm grow sicker with every passing day. Could it be that this new Mother Crystal is like the others? That it draws upon the land's ether? It certainly looked that way from stone here. If that were true, it would explain the hastening spread of the blight since the crystal's appearance. Would it not? Oh, it's hastened, has it? As the land's ether slowly rises to the surface, it pulls, corrupting all who cannot channel its energies. Arche above, ether floods below, and in the middle, here we languish, hopelessly entrapped. It's all right. 
when we faced him at Stone here. Ultima told us his true power quickens in the Halls of Origin. Needless to say, we cannot allow that to continue. If we are to stop him, we will have to find a way into the crystal. How are we going to manage that then? It's up in the sky. And fast as she is, the Enterprise can't fly. <laughs> It's a lot to take in, and I reckon we'd all benefit from some time to clear our heads. The answer will come to us. Don't you worry. Ain't that right, Clive? I mean, we have four icons that can fly. That's right. Well, okay. Well, go on, then. Three that can fly. <laughs> and Clive and Joshua can just fuse together and fly, so like... Same goes for you, Clive. You won't solve anything like this. Trust me. Go and get some fresh air, right? I mean, are all of the, like, normal yeah. people really gonna do much up there anyways? Against Ultima of all people? I guess they could kill minions if he summons more of them again, but that's Don't probably about it. Said. Ultima may have created us, but he doesn't make us who we are. Only we can do that. And if he would have us fight for our survival, so be it. It's what we've been doing all along. Much like Ultima himself, it would seem. His new world being naught but a means to survive. And so, we must contend to decide which of us shall inherit the land. Should Ultima prevail, it will mean death for us all. Of that, we can be certain. But even should he fail, what world awaits us? A withered, godless place where our newfound freedom will most like prove a chain in itself. Well, that may be, but a chain can always be broken, as long as one has the will to break it, it won't be easy, it may take generations, centuries of suffering, and that is if everyone plays their part. I, I mean, the hideaway kind of... Will proves that we can you know live without our terms that is the magic that awaits us <laughs> indeed and what better world could one wish for so what do we really need the gods and magic for anyways man it may not be as easy of an existence but it can be done <laughs> like but first we have to reach that crystal then it's a good thing I have wings. You can barely stand, let alone fly. And only the founder knows what horrors await in those skies. Are you certain about this? Am I certain? I am the phoenix. I will do what I must. This is our fight. Remember. Don't forget Shiva and Bahamut. All right. They can fly too. I yield. But only what you must. Yes. I am still your sworn shield. That you are. And what of my wings? Lest you forget, you go to stand against a god. I would not have you succumb to fatigue before the fight begins. Ifrit. Your brother mentioned that some few of the Dominants who had lost their power to you were still able to prime. Is that true? It is. But their icons no longer submitted to their will. 
Semantics. We can figure that out. We'll have to be stronger. That you both might save your strength for the battle to come. You don't have to do this. If you do, there's a chance you might lose all you have left. And what have I but regret? My life ended in the Dominion. I fear death no more. Besides, I would have words with Ultima. He has much to answer for. We are in your debt, Dion. We can speak of debts when this is over. Maybe. Is it done? <laughs> Long ass cutscenes, man. Hideo Speaks Kojima like found a new job at Square. Back. I wasn't aware, but like, seems pretty that obvious now. We have to. Does it, Clive? Time to talk to Jill. I only hope she understands. Wait, where is she? In the room? Yeah. On the balcony! I was wondering if the balcony would ever really be used for anything. Guess we got our answer. It's to talk to Jill. Where does everybody else sleep here? We have quarters. I've never seen, like, bunks for the other people or anything. Be such a bad idea. This is it, Jill. You know what I have to do. Why I have to do it. There's no turning back now. This is where our journey was leading us. Where it will end, for better or worse. I could pray to Metia for you. But you'll be all right, won't you, Clive? You always are. I did promise we'd watch the moon together. I'll be waiting. Just fuck already, Jesus. And there they are. Better make sure I haven't forgotten. Now we got two here in a mood. In case you haven't noticed, your poor hound spends all his time of late on the rear deck whimpering like gaff in his cups. Something ain't right. My gut tells me it's not to do with the supply of antelope bones. What is it this time, Torgal? I mean, we gotta have everybody in tip-top shape for what we're about to go do. In search of a lost tome, reluctant as I am to add to your burdens, I would ask your aid in a personal matter, albeit one that may be beneficial to our cause. There exist ancient texts deemed so injurious to modern thought that mere possession is deemed a crime. It is a chance encounter with one such tome, from a distance, that sparked within me the scholastic curiosity which burns to this very day. I wish to enlist in your aid in reclaiming that text. Should you require further incentive, know that I am willing to offer compensation for services rendered. <laughs> okay. Something tells me this is no mere adventure story. There's two. Three, four, five. Six, seven, eight. Yeah, eight. Is that it for the world, though? Okay. Nine. Ten. <laughs> Eleven. Eleven new side quests. <laughs> Fuck me, dude. Well, 
we're gonna try to finish up today, but we'll see what how long these things are. Let's not forget we have uh, hunts most likely now too. Trouble with your gear, or no? But I am curious. Defender plus one, really? How is that? That's more powerful than this. Supposedly the the blade of legend or what? Or wait, not that one. Uh, the one that we're using, whatever it's called. I mean, whatever. We might as well use it since we unlocked it. What do we need to reinforce it? Meteorite, sharp fang, clutch mine. 40 clutch mine. Uh, so we wouldn't have enough to upgrade it. So for that reason, let's go to Karen here because we should be able to just buy the sword. Oh, but then we'd have to upgrade it twice. Yeah, no, it probably makes more sense to just... Finished, are you? Or wait, does she probably sells clutch mine, though, now that I think about it. Out there? Uh, ingredients, yeah, clutch mine. Uh, I mean, we don't need <laughs> that much, actually. Let's just buy a couple hundred. That should be more than enough. Oh. Noodle. Oh, okay, whatever. That's enough. It's better I'll be here. Did you bring me candy? I like candy. And a little <laughs> and a little fox. <laughs> Big chunky. What is it? Just four? Yeah, or no. No, it's just a giant chunky. I've never seen ones like that before. These are chunkies, by the way. I've talked about them before. I don't know. Looks like it's mostly just blown out on screen there, but Thanks, love. Uh, these can go in the freezer. Now keep a hold of the chunky. Thank you. Goodbye. Love you. Okay. <laughs> Enjoy your nap, Finished, love. <laughs> so what do I owe the honor? Uh, use the forge. So Make. That's yeah, I fed everyone. Right. Welcome. And then reinforce. Yeah. That should do you. That it. Fine. Uh, fuck, dude. I'm having trouble keeping track of who we still need to talk to. <laughs> There's just so many quest markers everywhere. All right. Here's somebody. Oh, this is Torgal. Okay. Hi, Torgal. What's going on, boy? Hiding for something, boy. Giant ass chunky, dude. What is it? Break it into what four. Do you see out there? I never did ask where you got that anklet of yours. From Said, that's why. On the day brought him home. That long ago. And you're only thinking to ask this now? Said <sighs> saw that the pup had a habit of gnawing on his leg, since you ask. Clap that there iron on him to keep him from doing it. What was wrong, boy? I'll take like as not. Must have been hard on the poor whelp losing his loving masters at such a young age. Doubly hard in being a frost wolf, torn away from his icons and all. Sid would always tell him, you want my iron gone, you find what it is you're looking for. I reckon what he was looking for was you. I'm sorry, Togo. Sorry for making you wait so long. Let's get that thing off you. <laughs> Doesn't sound like he wants it off. Indeed. You miss it as much as the rest of us, don't you? You want me to go with you somewhere? Quick, can't you? Glad you've been paying attention. Not nearly as much as you have, Lady Karen. Aye, good thing and all. It's not like Gav would have kept him in nuts and rubbed his belly these past ten summers. Your kindness is appreciated. You've been a good friend to him. Only because he doesn't talk back like the rest of you. Go on now. 
Fucking love chunkies, dude. Where to then, Toggle? Bam. That may be my favorite, just like candy bar, you know? Like regular candy bar filled with nuts and shit. What do you think happened to Miss Mid at all? I heard she was. Sid, you have to help us. With what? You didn't take apart another of Mid's contraptions, did you? No. Well, yes. <laughs> but that's not what we want to talk to you about. It's Miss Mid at all. She's been acting strange. Very strange. She's barely ever around. When she is, she acts like we aren't even there. Her head's in a crowd. She's probably trying to figure out how to fly, dude. That's what I said. In the clouds. Well, she does have a lot on her mind. When did you last see her? Um, not long ago. Ah, right after she got back from saving you from Stone Ear. Then it's probably just about the Enterprise. It did take quite a battering on the way there and back. You didn't break it, did you, Sid? You really should be more careful around Miss Mididol's inventions. That's rich coming from Don't you, listen lot. To her. Even if you did break the Enterprise, you could put it back together, couldn't you? But who's going to put Miss Mididol back together? She seems really sad. Why don't I go and see if I can cheer her up? You do that for us. She's in her dungeon. Don't scare him. It's not a real dungeon. Thanks for the warning. Aiming high, yeah. Sounds like she's trying to figure out how to fly, dude. Ah, uh, no, I don't care. Pretty sure we've checked that book before, anyways. Hello, Miss Mididol. Did you figure out how to fly yet? If you have a ah! That's it! I knew it! The answer was right here under my ass all along! If this doesn't see it to the skies, nothing will. To the skies? You aren't trying to give the Enterprise wings, are you? What else would I be doing? The children seem to think you're avoiding them. They're worried about you. Is this really so important that you need to shut yourself away from everyone? The Enterprise is already the fastest ship in the realm. And that's with the sea beneath her. But what if she weren't bound to the waves? What if she weren't bound to anything at all? It's not fair. The gods get the skies all to themselves, so... I'm gonna do something about it. The Fallen had their chance, but they relied too much on magic. And see where that got them. But not me. I've discovered how to do it without. Well, almost. First, I need to make a prototype. And is that a one-woman job? Are you volunteering? I'll have you know the Enterprise is my baby. But if her godfather's offering to lend a hand, I'd be happy to take it. Just tell us what he needs to do. And not just some old drippings from Miss Molly's spits in the tub and crown. Refined stuff, like they make in Ordil. Then I'll need some bone or shell. Light, strong, preferably no longer attached to the beast it belongs to. If it's beast bones you're after, I'm sure the curse breakers will know where you might find some. No, they'll know where you might find some. You're the one who offered to help, remember? This is going to take a bit. <laughs> oh, God. There as well. All right. Um, God damn, dude. What's closest? I guess this. A new project what is it upstairs? Must be upstairs. Oh, that's not, not upstairs. Exactly. That's down. Going the wrong way. It's been a while since we've been up here. Who is that? I will not let them be forgotten. Sid, may I have a moment? Of course. I don't remember you. I apologize. It's an honor to finally speak with you. My name is Herman. I've been with the Curse Breakers for some time now, and. Uh, I wish to be deployed to Ash. Any assignment will do. No. The lands across the Narrow are too dangerous. I will not send good men and women to risk their lives needlessly. Why would you want to go back? I need to retrieve something. Something important. I was raised 
in an orphanage. The Badbach Conservatory. Or rather, I was held captive there. It was not a place of nurture. It existed solely to turn bearer children into mindless weapons. We were tortured until we feared no pain. Tormented until our hearts turned to stone. And few ever survived long enough to become tools of the last king. I can't imagine. I lost so many. I... I can't even remember all their names. But they must be remembered. They cannot fade away, faceless and forgotten. The Institute was run with military precision. Every child measured, every name recorded, every death logged with meticulous care. Sid, allow me to travel to Ash and recover the registry so that my brothers and sisters might live on. You are a good friend, Herman, but the fact remains that Ash is simply too dangerous. Sid, please, even should it cost me my life. Too dangerous for you, Herman, but not for me. I'll go to Bad Back and find the registry. You will? I won't let you risk your life. I don't know how to thank you. You can start by telling me where I'll find this orphanage. The De Grace, hidden in a forest, overlooking the plains. All right. I'll see what the I can find forest there. plains. Okay. Your mothers guide you. Um, magic. Where to next? Might as well stop down here first and make our way around. That'll hit just about everyone. And then start traveling the world <laughs> to complete so many side quests. <laughs> oh. What we got? We got about two and a half hours, roughly. Two hours, 40 minutes. I think we got this. No problem, dude. Check the main map. Noodle, thank you for the five bits, love. Wait. No. What are we checking? Uh, do you mean the other side quests? Yeah, I noticed that there were three more on the main map as well. <laughs> Not just the eight here, but will? 11, actually. And I'm guessing three hunts. We haven't actually checked the hunt board yet, but... I think th I'm, I'm assuming three more hunts. Clive, my boy. Rutherford informs me that we owe you our thanks. Hadn't intended for you to get involved, but such are the times we live in, huh? I would have done the same for anyone else. You're far too modest, Clive. You'd make a terrible nobleman. But tell me, is the realm truly in as dire a state as Rutherford suggests? Well, it's not great. Little I saw. You were right to be worried. Uh, I suppose I should have expected the worst. Keep but I was rather dude. hoping the great and good of the realm might have things a little more under control. Alas, it seems that firm leadership is in short supply these days. And without it, the people are bound to lose their way. We must move quickly. But where do we start? True, the challenges that face us are many, but in my estimation, there are two key areas to be addressed before any other. The realm's armies and her larders. As you've seen firsthand, it's every man and woman for themselves out there. Certain cities have banded together to try and maintain some semblance of order, yes, but such cases are few and far between. And yet, the only remedy for the chaos that faces us is unity. A unity that transcends even the borders laid down by our ancestors. In short, if Storm does not stand together, 
she will fall apart. But how would one even begin to unite the realm? The armies, my boy. As I told you already, we begin by restoring order among the ranks of those sworn to maintain it. Sadly, I doubt I could convince even the lowliest gaggle of privates to dig a latrine together. But I do know someone the High Commanders have been known to listen to on occasion. Field Marshal Eugen Havel. I thought he was retired. Are the ropes that were like... He was, until an Akashic army... Showing the borders of the different nations, are they gone? The is that what you were there pointing out? There is no man alive more capable. Literally. And as luck would have it... I thought something looked a little different, but... I just put it together yeah. while he was talking. I think that and might be he's gone. Agreed to help. On one condition. That he first speaks with you personally. Havel has always been a man of frustratingly rigid principle. And he has certain qualms about clasping arms with... Well, with an outlaw. I extolled your many virtues as best I could, of course... But the old goat was adamant that he be allowed to appraise you in person. He don't mind, do you, my boy? Of course not. Of course not. As long as chaos reigns, we will never build a better world. I'll do whatever it takes. And if the field marshal wishes to speak with me in person, then so be it. That's the spirit. I'll leave for Randalar at once. Would you no, send I won't. Us? <laughs> of course. Rutherford is already in the Dalmechian capital. I'll have him tell Havel to expect you forthwith. Excellent. Thank you, Uncle. No. Thank you, Clive. Alrighty. Might as well talk to him while we're there. Oh, nope. The chains are still there. Hmm. Yeah, I'm guessing it was just the other side quest then that you were talking about maybe the chains aren't actually I don't know what they're for because <laughs> like on the kingdom of ash here the way they're laid out is weird I was thinking maybe it was uh like the borders of the blight but like the blight goes past it there and here. And there's none around this section down here. I don't really understand the chains, to be honest with you. Yes, okay. <laughs> Anyways, back to it. We're never going to finish if we don't keep just talking to people. All right, Toggle. Where are you taking me? I'm going to need a little bit more than that, boy. Do you have a better hint for me? Unless... You've already given me one. Back on the rear deck, you were looking west. Toward Rosaria. Why don't we try the rookery? I haven't been to the island in... Almost 20 years. <coughs> to Port is older then. Fingers crossed the old mooring is still there. What is there for him? Does he just miss his childhood home? Uh, I don't get it. Oh, Clive. Joshua, what's wrong? Okay, love. I'll be here. <laughs> Lights. Nothing. I've received word from Cyril. The Undying have found Father's will. Or something akin to it. His will. How and where? In the crypt beneath Rosalith Castle. After Kupka was kind enough to drive out the Imperials, the Undying took the opportunity to recover what relics of the Duchy yet remained. And in the process of doing so, they found a letter from you didn't have to do that. I didn't even think anything of it when you showed me another Cyril asked that I friend. <laughs> taper my convenience. I have been meaning to go, but would you join me? Eventually. Of course. 
I want to know what's in that letter as much as you do. Very well. I'm ready to leave when you are. I do appreciate the candy, though. Especially the giant chunky, because I've never seen one before, and it's I, I love chunkies. I know if you'd be dis <laughs> not disappointed, you freak. <laughs> Sid, do you have a moment? By all means. It's my old master. Seems there's no escaping her. She found some way to send me a letter. And something else. Records from a Waluda prison. Seems they were keeping a lot of bearers there. How did she come by such a thing? Finding bearers always was her strong point. And it seems the cells of Balmung Dark are full of them. Foreign captives, the masterless, bearers no one would miss. And even better for her. Aren't there bigger no fish to fry at the moment? <laughs> like, the giant fucking crystal the right fled. back there? Leaving the bearers to be liberated by whoever happened to come along next. Sid, I'd like to believe that I've earned your trust by now. And while I'm well aware that you've forbidden curse breakers from traveling to Walud, I can't let those bearers die in their cells. I'd rather risk shipwreck on the Shadow Coast than leave them to starve. We'll be needing the Enterprise if we're going to navigate the Narrow. Does that mean... I'm making an exception. That we travel together. And we stay no longer than we have to. Ash is an inhospitable place at the best of times. We save as many as we can, and we leave. Thank you, Sid. There was a name in the prison register. Why would we make an exception master. for her, but not for the other guy? Why can't he come with us too? Another of my former master's protégés. A gifted soldier and the closest thing I had to family. More hands make for lighter work and all that after all. Like He must be very important to you. He was. Is. Then we find him. The entrance to the prison lies in the shadow of Ravenwit Walls, just beyond the portcullis. We should head there as quickly as we can. I only pray there are still bearers alive to save. As do I, Doris. So did they just, like, have all these side quests planned and then realize, fuck, we ran out of time, and so they just dumped them all at the end? <laughs> is, that, is that what happened? I was wondering if you could help me. It depends what with. A bearer, but recently freed from his bonds, is keen to join the curse breakers. As you know, the work we do is not easy, which is why we test every volunteer's suitability. I was hoping you could oversee this one's evaluation. I don't mind, but why this one? Because... He wants to be a scout. Mm. Our ranks are filled with men and women capable of breaking chains and putting slavers to the sword. But scouting? We're few with the nose for that, which is why we still rely so heavily on Gav. And since he accompanies you on so many of your missions, I thought you might be better placed to recognize the traits in him that we should look for in those who'd fill his boots. Sounds reasonable. So you're happy to oversee the boys' test then? Sure thing. One can never have too many scouts. True words, Sid. I'll let the initiate know that you'll be attending his trial, and that he is to proceed directly to Northreach in readiness. No time like the present, eh? No time like the present. I'll await you there. At least he was quick with it. I appreciate that. Northreach. I don't suppose they could have chosen somewhere closer. Wait, have the new hunts not popped up yet? No. Weird. Okay, then. All right, Sid. Come to buy us around, have you? Only if you earn it. Mid needs a piece of light but durable bone for her next project. You've encountered your share of beasts on your travels across the realm. Any ideas? Most bones are the same. Whack them hard enough and they'll break. If it's durability you're looking for, shell will serve you better. Oh, fuck, dude. I hate you know those what things. Is. I do. And I know to give them a wide berth. Will any old adamantus do? Well, with shells, the older the harder. There's a rumor of an ancient adamantus down in Carava, near Old Bidza. All that's left of the village anyway. But don't expect to make quick work of the bastard. There's a reason it's lived as long as it has. 
I'll keep that in mind. Thank you. I'd love to see what the map looks like if you had waited until the very end. We unlock another side quest in our room there? Anyways, to do the side quests, because from my understanding at least, you can skip as many side quests as you want and then do them all at the end of the game after the destruction of the original hideaway. So in theory, like the last two thirds of the games, you could have just saved all of the side quests. And then, oh fuck, <laughs> I'm an idiot. I went completely the wrong direction. Anyways, <laughs> and then just did them all here. Like the map would be nothing but green fucking dots, man. I never speak to Vivian. I thought there was another quest in our missive somehow. It's like, bro, we already checked that. Why was there another one? No, I'm just fucking dumb. That's all. Vivian, I read your note, and I'd be happy to help you find the book you're looking for. Thank you, Clive. But tracking it down will not be easy. Are you sure? Yes. You have always granted me your wisdom and insight whenever I asked. It's only right that I return the favor, or at least attempt to. You are too kind. Alas, what I ask of you is rather more trying than delivering the odd lecture. I spoke with Harpocrates to see if he had any inkling as to where another copy might be found, but... <sighs> but perhaps it is best that you hear the details from him. If you say so. Forgive me, Clive, for asking this of you. But this book, it set me on the path to becoming who I am today. Its importance cannot be overstated. I feel like they'd be wiped with every crystal. I don't know, man. I haven't heard anything about that happening. Though I suppose uh, it could be like, you know, certain side quests won't be unlocked until other side quests are completed and shit like that. So maybe you would only see like 15 on the map, but then every time you finish one, another one would pop up, basically. Could be something like that, maybe. Or I could be wrong, and it could get wiped with every crystal, I don't know. But, said from what I've heard, you can go back and do all of the side quests at the end of the game, besides the one that take place before the uh, destruction of the first hideaway. There's something I need to ask you. I've been charged with locating a book called From a Distance. Then you seek a rare gem indeed. One whose name I have been discovering them. Oh yeah, no, we've done lips. everything. Besides the been talking to Vivian. Right as always. Whatever the random crystals she are that you find. I can't remember what they're called now. Much. I take it she didn't like what you had to say. And yet I gather it did not. They're nothing but combat way. challenges, so I was like, meh. Clive. If the young professor has tasked you with obtaining a copy, I fear she asks the impossible. The executors would not allow it. The executors? Coveters of Secrets. A clandestine organization committed to mm. the collection and intenebration of forbidden texts and technologies. So there's and like a shadow broker running sense. around here and just <laughs> collecting yes, and hoarding knowledge. The true history of the enslavement of bearers. A tale which could overturn the established order. Stretch, you got it, my guy. Own. Stretching sounds or, good. So rumor has it. I've never actually read the thing, or even set eyes on it for that matter. How is it that I haven't heard of this organization? Why, secrecy is the executor's watchword. They lurk in the shadows, emerging only to seize that which must be seized, be it books, inventions, or people, before disappearing again, leaving nary a trace. Which would explain why Vivian's copy was snatched from her grasp not long after she found it. By the hand of the executors, yes. Damn near knocked over my green screen in the process, but... <laughs> Self-interest or ideology? Fine question. Sadly... All that is known of the executors can be recounted in a single breath. You may just as soon ask me of their origins, numbers, or the identities of their leaders. Any answer I give would be pure speculation. 
And my hunt was doomed from the first. What was Vivian expecting? That I pluck it from thin air? Not from thin air, no. From ash. Rumors of the executors are rife among the scholars of Storm, but rather less so across the strait. I have a friend. Well, I had a friend in the village of Garnick, a collector of rare tomes, upon which subject we would oft correspond. Alas, I have heard naught from him since the skies fell dark. And no doubt he too has turned. But... Though he did not mention it by name, it is possible that a surviving copy of From a Distance yet rests upon one of his many shelves, quietly awaiting discovery. If you were, by some chance, able to save even a single book from the poor man's library, I know his soul would rest easier. Very well. When I next find myself in Walud, I'll be sure to pay Garnick a visit. Interesting. The whole thing with, uh, like a group of hoarding secret knowledge. That's a cool bit of lore. Okay, nothing else here to do then. Where should we go first? Unsurprisingly, it seems like most stuff is in Dalmechia, because this game has a hard-on for it. Let's just do it in the order that we unlock the stuff. We'll go to North Reach first. Did the final place unlock yet? Wasn't that here in Sambrek? Maybe it was Dalmechia or something. I don't remember. Or Rosaria. Must have been Rosaria. Hold on. It's going to bug me now. Cause there was a small area. Nope. Still locked. Okay. Probably unlocks with one of these side quests. And then I know there's a couple places in Walud that haven't unlocked either. But again, I imagine side quests will unlock it. Actually, you know what's a good idea before we start all these quests and things? I'm going to go pee. <laughs> so, we will be right back, guys. Not my bad, but I'm sorry. Whatever. <laughs> At least it's not me this time. <laughs> Twitch didn't break on me yet. German Shepherd, Siberian Husky. <laughs> Change your vote to Boston Terrier for your woo-woo. Boxer. Basset Hound, St. Bernard, Bull Terrier, Pomeranian, Cocker Spaniel, West Highland White Terrier, Australian Shepherd, Bernese Mountain Dog, Doberman, English Springer Spaniel, Pekingese, Rottweiler, why mariner? <laughs> Way mariner? Why mariner? <laughs> I'm just making sounds at this point, dude. Bichon free? Bichon free? I have no idea what the hell that is either. And a Scottish Terrier. So there's no pit. But we still got... I don't know. <laughs> we had two votes for weenie. The two weenie votes have changed to beagle and a husky. I don't even think we had a weenie dog as a uh, option, unless it has like a proper name that I don't know. <laughs> Ruse vote changed to Boston Terrier. Stream of weenie. Oh, is a Dutch hound. Is weenie. Oh, well, see, I don't know. I'm not a dog person, man. I don't know. <laughs> or I don't really care for like breeds of any animals, to be honest. Like. The wormer -er 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 is the type of dogs that were in Sesame Street. She died at 17. Aw. I'm sorry to hear that, my guy. So we got a Beagle from Chocobo. Boston Terrier from Rue. Noodle. If Nate and Silence is around, we need something from you guys. But if not, the Noodle, it all comes down to you, dude. We got Beagle and Terrier. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's two for Beagle.
I am sorry about your dog, though, Rue. That sucks, man. It's always rough losing a pet. Noodle, we still need your vote, my guy. It's two to one. What's your final vote? You don't know? <laughs> you gotta pick one. Well, I mean, you can pick any one you want, but <laughs> there's two votes for Beagle, one for Boston Terrier. We need final votes. Wait, there was a husky? Oh my god. <laughs> was there a husky? I yes, there is a husky. Siberian husky. That is an option. <laughs> Unfog. <laughs> you got a portrait of her done? You'll send it in Discord, but yeah, she's a family dog for years. Man, I miss her. See, I never got, like, that close to any of our pets that we had uh, when I was younger. I had a feeling that was going to happen. <laughs> the, the, the vote on pets dogs, too. Uh, I mean, it's right here. We might as well talk to him first. Well met, Sid. This is the initiate. Ember, present yourself. At your service, master. Please, just Sid. There are no masters here. Your life is your own. Oh, of course. Thank you, Sid. The sergeant says you'll be evaluating me at my trial. To become a scout, yes. You are aware of the dangers inherent in that role. I am. But I swore I'd face them. Just You're like about to drop a 25. Yep. <laughs> Fucking A, dude. <laughs> Jeff, <laughs> Jesus it was Christ. He found me and freed me. Oh. No magic, no support, mm. just one man and his nose came and sniffed me out. I'm going to have to uh, find, figure, uh, watch the speed run for it, man. Learn the speed run strats so we can just get it through it as quickly as possible. So one day, I can be someone's savior, just like Gav was mine. <laughs> I'm sure he'd be flattered. You clearly have good intentions, Ember. And it sounds like you're under no illusions. Stick to this path and you'll make a fine curse breaker. So, what? Have I passed? <sighs> You haven't even started yet. Now listen. Not far from here is an Imperial lookout, East Watch. The guards there record all their sightings in a logbook. You are to find it and bring it here. And bring it here, right. Anything else? No. Sneaking into a heavily guarded Imperial outpost and stealing the logbook would be quite sufficient. You'll need to assess the situation, determine a point of entry, create a distraction and effect an escape, all without being discovered and thrown into an Imperial oubliette. Ember, Gav isn't our best scout because he can do everything. It's essential that you know your limits. Know my limits, right. I won't let you down. Poor boy's gonna get himself killed, ain't he? <laughs> It shouldn't be as dangerous as I made out. But keep a weather eye on him all the same, would you? On my way. No, I'm not. <laughs> Just gonna turn around now. Right. We will deal with him in a moment. Uh, impress me. <sighs> oh. Excuse me, excuse me. Just trying to get around here. Do you actually have new stuff to buy? Do you see anything you like? Oh, meh. Not that I care about, at least. I do we'll fill our like potions for the hell of it. He Let's spend money on something, right? The garrison is threatening to pull their sentries from the market. I would speak with this duke. Oh, are they still having problems with the duke so around here? Sucks to be them, I guess. Use Odin again, but do level 5, yeah. I mean, it's not like we're doing anything right now. Anything important, rather. So, <laughs> we'll give it a try. Who had I replaced? I think it was Phoenix. I don't remember. We'll just replace Titan. Odin. 
Uh, oh, that's right. We got all those ability points back. Yeah, increase to five. Unlock dancing steel. Upgrade dancing steel. And upgrade this one. There we go. Dancing steel, right? You'd think I'd remember, considering I just fucking... <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> I just fucking unlocked it, but... Memory's not all that great. Hello, Isabel. Do you have a moment, Clive? What is it? It's the Duke, unsurprisingly. His eminence has assumed full control of the garrison and put every able-bodied man to work on the fortifications. The town was left all but unguarded, so Philippe was compelled to form a citizen's watch to fill the void. And though my dear boys have been characteristically willing to assist him in this, they want for bodies. So I was wondering if you would lend them your strength, that the people of Northreach might sleep easier, if only for a few nights. What kind of bodies are they looking for? Of course. <laughs> What are, we, are we are we out here to murder people? What what, what are you asking me for exactly? Philippe told me he had men stationed at. Where can I find the mistress of this establishment? Here, my lady. To whom do I have the pleasure of speaking? My name is Sabine, and it is my displeasure to be the daughter of the Duke of Oriflam, who I understand is causing you and your town no small amount of trouble. I wish to speak to you about what might be done. Very well. Let us speak. I trust you'll forgive me, Clive. Absolutely. Our conversation can wait. Please, proceed. As you know, my father is a most overbearing and supercilious man, and I join you in objecting to his every action. Indeed, I owe you my thanks for continuing to argue Is that like his some hypnosis plans. bullshit, you know? Yet I fear... He is not one to be swayed. Just dangling a thing. You really like no. pets. <laughs> he must be made to face the consequences of his actions. And who would make him do this? I would. Myself and several other like-minded individuals. Were you to join us, we would surely have the strength to drive him from Northreach for good. Does that not seem a trifle drastic? Drastic action. I mean, if it gets the uh, job done, right? For. Unless you are content to see your people downtrodden and dispossessed. My father would have it that citizens exist only to serve the Empire. That they should be forced to make every sacrifice to ensure her revival. But he is wrong. It is not the people who must serve the Empire, but the Empire who must serve her people. <sighs> He's always been like this. I thought she wanted to talk to Isabel. Why why are we even here? We could have just left while this was going on. Rushod over the common folk any longer. We must fight him by all possible means. Fight him. No. My purpose is to quell the tension in Northreach, not to stoke it. Respectfully, my lady. Our only chance of saving this town depends upon every one of us uniting against our common enemy. Your father and his followers included. While I understand your frustrations, I cling to the hope that he may yet be won round. False hope, I assure you. But I see that your mind is made up. I shall bother you no longer. If you will extend me the same courtesy, I bid you good day. She certainly has spirit. Indeed. And a set of lungs on her, man. Did you hear how long she was talking? Is only likely to harden the Duke's resolve. Jesus. Which may be enough to seal the fate of this town. Not that she cares. This is all about her and her father. Families. I'm sorry. Where were we? Ah, yes. I was about to tell you of Philippe's plans for the town watch. But perhaps it's better that you heard them from him. I believe he's in the market, if you'd be so kind as to seek him out. Right away. It's just a pity I cannot Jesus join fuck, you. fuck, dude. 
Why didn't you just tell that uh, tell us that whenever what's her name Sabine showed up? Like, hey, uh, since our conversation's being cut short, why don't you just go talk to Philippe? He's in the market. That's all you had to say. We could have saved ourselves five minutes. Like, <laughs> fucking hey, dude. <laughs> uh. Saw the captain just now. All right, Philippe. Are you gonna talk my ear off for twenty minutes as well? What does the dame have to say about me? So you're content to abandon? Oh, look who it is! <laughs> I beseech you, if you're a true son of Northreach, you must fight to defend your home. That's exactly what I am doing, milady. Or trying to, at least. The land is crawling with fiends, and someone has to keep watch. Even when our true enemy is hiding in the garrison? Fine. You're not the only able-bodied man in Northreach. Thank you so much for your help. She cornered you too, then. Could hardly get a word in edgeways. Like father, like daughter, eh? She made an uninvited appearance at the Vale earlier. Hoping to convince the dame to join her in fermenting rebellion. <laughs> I bet that went well. Her ladyship seems to have a way with people. Anyway, what brings you here? Our mutual friend thought you might welcome some help. Oh, she did, did she? <laughs> right as always. In fact, you're just a man. We've had some reports, you see. Sightings of... Uh, you know what? Kashik? Seems that way. All over, too. We haven't been able to confirm anything yet, but if you're willing, you could go and see what's what. Right. Where should I look? You know Grieger's Weep? One of the sightings places them somewhere on its shores. I'm on my way. Thank you, Clyther. I'll look into one of the other sightings. Let's rendezvous back here later. Sure thing, boss. Okay, so we're going to East Watch and here. This is a little bit closer. We'll stop there first. Ooh, that's right. Oh, wait. Is it still charged at three from the last time I used it? So even when you unequip it, it stays charged. That's neat. Damn it. The reports were true. Also not a Kashik, but Revenant. It's very flashy looking. I just wish it did a little bit more damage. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> All right. You know what? <laughs> Holy fuck, dude. <laughs> Level five is pretty good. I, I concede. Level 5 has got the shit, and it's pretty quick to charge up. Not to mention the fact that... Why the fuck is this not triggering? There we go. His uh, triangle ability charges pretty quick too, which is nice. Do I even have to, like, hit anything with it? No, it just kills everything on screen. <laughs> nice. Okay. Well, in that case... Because the biggest reason I wanted... Call that a test, Ultima. The Phoenix right. ability... Was for... Right? AOE. I am. 
And level 5 Zantetsukin is perfectly fine as an AoE. I dispatched the few that I found though. Hmm. Well, there's something, I suppose. But what were they doing south of town? They all came from the north last time. We might be able to fend off an attack from one side or the other, but from okay. both? Do you have eyes in the north? Some. I should probably go and have a look though, just to be sure. Now, you head back to Northridge. I want you there just in case war breaks out while I'm away. What do you mean? Her ladyship's been busy working her magic on the townspeople. Mm. Stirring up ill feeling towards her father. But she'll have her marching on the barracks if we're not careful. What? This is exactly what the dame was afraid of. I'll do what I can to calm things down. Be careful out there, all right? Don't worry, I'm not like you. One sniff of those things and I'm running back to town screaming blue murder. Okay, so I think what we're going to do... Would I rather have the Phoenix ability or Titan for Do the block? See, Father? The people of Northreach have given enough, and only a fool would ask for more. Listen to me, Sabine. Think the block. Where would our people be without their country? Hmm? The Empire is their sword and their shield. It is she that ensures they can live without fear. And now she teeters on the brink. Without their sword, how will the people fight? Without their shield, how will they protect their kin? Can the unarmed stand against the advancing hordes? No. But there is yet hope. A new shield, a new sword. A new empire. We can rebuild Sandbrek, just as great Grieger wills it. Perhaps we could, Father. But we don't want to. Not if it is built on the broken backs of the people. Please, let us not quarrel in the street. You must see that no good will come of this. Our fight is not with each other, but with the threat that draws ever closer to our gates. A threat that your sword has yet to rid us of, your eminence. You will hold your tongue, whore. You may have filled my daughter's head with your heresy, but I will not be corrupted. Corrupted? Your daughter's opinions are her own, as you would know if you had ever deigned to listen to her. At least I hope they are your opinions, and not posturing born of a family feud. Northreach deserves better than that. Northreach deserves better than you, Carla. Oof. Yes, I know who you are. The slut of Twinside who bedded a bandit. <laughs> Jealous, are you? That a woman might choose a bearer over a pious man of Grieger. Clive! I met a swarm of thralls coming south from Oriflam. Hundreds of them. Too many to count. God, oh, fuck you. No. Work on the fortifications has scarcely begun. We will retreat to Care Norvent and there make our stand. Did you hear me? That was an order. While this is but a heartfelt plea, let us make our stand here and protect our homes. Protect those that we love. Together, for Northreach! You heard the dame. What are we waiting for? Pikemen to the gates, archers to the roofs. Quickly, come on! <laughs> Too many inspirational <laughs> monologues. <laughs> I think the problem is they've all kind of lost their inspiration at this point, man. <laughs> Can only listen to so many of them before it's just another, you know, another passing moment in the game. <laughs> he does. They all do, man. <laughs> all 
This really should have been a 20 hour game, not 60. That's that's the long the and short of it. Their orders, and they look like following them. I got them spaced out at regular intervals. Whichever direction the thralls strike from, there'll be someone there to meet them. Thank you, Philippe. Rest assured, the people will play their part. The herbalist has donated her stock of medicines to me. Should any of your men be injured, take them to the Vale. We'll see to them there. Thank you, my lady. I will. I'll play my part too. You still want for numbers. Unlike the enemy. I only hope I can go some way to evening the odds. Philippe, can I leave the south in your hands? I doubt the thralls by the lake were the last of their number. Of course. I'll lead a party down that way so we don't get taken by surprise. What about you? I'll make my way up the road to Oriflam. I fought a few of these things. And while I can't promise to hold them all back, I should be able to thin the herd. All right, but take care. Thank you, both of you. You can thank us when it's over. Till then, madame. And our poor scout just stuck out there in the wilderness all by his lonesome while these hordes are forming. Oh, uh, before I forget. Yeah, so I'm going to put Titan back here. I'm going to stick Odin here. And then on Odin, that's, yes, that's actually how I want it laid out. And then, can I unlock that more powerful move from Ramu? If we go to abilities, is anything, can we get any points back from anywhere? Uh, we're not using this one, so I can reset that. We're no longer using Flames of Rebirth. We can get that back. Or Phoenix Shift. How much do we need for Judgment Bolt? 3,140. Uh, we're not using... I'm going to be replacing Raging Fists. Perfect. I wonder, I mean, Giga Flare would probably be better if it pauses time. I don't know, though. Oh, wait, it's upgraded? Bruh. Well, damn, that was, <laughs> that was a lot of points right there. Yeah, whatever. Okay, so master that. And then... Throw it in here. Oh. Okay. Gonna try this out. See how it goes. I don't know if it's actually a good layout or not, but... <laughs> I'm thinking, like, Ignition... And the one from Odin... Should build up the multiplier pretty easily. And then just using some of the most powerful attacks we have available to us for damage. We'll see how it actually works, though. There are so many of them. Not for long. Yeah, dude, like, one use of that damn near fills Antetz again. And it's, oh, and it's a quarter of the way recharged by the time we, uh, finish using it. Like, that's powerful, dude. That's really good, actually. doesn't seem to have quite the range that the Phoenix Flame thing does, but it doesn't need to. Like, it's just an instant death. How well does it work on 
Oh, shit. Okay, so it does take a moment to charge. Oh. Now, why didn't it... Weird. Okay. Why didn't it go off like it has before with like the big long chain does it just not work well against large dudes or is it because he hit us That's got a long charge time. Oh, no, you bastard. Oh, my God, dude. Yeah. And I'm assuming... Oh. And I'm assuming it has to, like, fully charge up or it's not. Okay, well, that time we missed. So, presumably, you have to hit with it for it to work. I got to figure out how the hell this thing. <laughs> I want to know how much damage it does, the level 5 does against, you know, larger creatures here. Just keep charging, just keep charging. Okay, yeah, so the first set of strikes has to go off. Otherwise, it doesn't count for anything. More or less the only attack we're using. I'm not going to attack him anymore just because I'm curious roughly how much damage that does. So about 25, 30,000. That's not bad, dude. If we can get it all chained together into one go. Oh. Yep. <laughs> I <laughs> didn't figure that was going to work too well once I saw the Kamehameha wave coming there. <laughs> there we go. That was close, though. Okay, I can I can see the Odin uh, working out, man. That looks to be the last of them. I wonder how the others fared. But for the uh, max damage tough. output, we definitely can't waste any time whenever we stagger them, which means that we need to use Diamond Dust a little bit earlier. So that that we don't lose like the first quarter of the the stagger gauge, or stagger timer, whatever you want to call it. Clive, it's good to see you, and you. The road to Oriflam is clear. How did you and your men fare? Well, we ended up fighting for our lives down by the lake. Took a few nicks. But nothing the girls of the Vale can't put right. Glad to hear it. Well, it seems we've survived. For the time being, at least. I thank you both for answering the call. 
You were right. No shit. And I was wrong. About everything. I had thought that the only way to unite the people was under the banner of Empire. That without a strong hand to guide them, they would drift apart. To be borne hither and yon by the eddying currents of fate. But you brought them together. Not by force. Nor by the exercise of goddess-given authority. But with your vagina. Being one of them. <laughs> oh, yeah. That too. By that too. <laughs> what they feel. Because you feel it yourself. Our purpose was ever the same, your eminence. You were merely distracted by a loftier vision of empire and glory. While our eyes beheld matters closer to home. You have the right of it again. As did you, Sabine. His radiance said it himself. Sandbreck is naught without her citizens. I forgot that. And I am sorry. I'm sorry too, father. I should never have taken things so far. I only wanted you to understand how the people felt. How I felt. But my anger got the better of me. Do not blame yourself, my dear. Sorry this I tried to get the townspeople to lead a rebellion against you, probably you. ending in your death. To I hope you can forgive me, Father. <laughs> your eminence, your ladyship. <laughs> yeah, it happens, man. Don't worry about it. Best of intentions. But I believe the same could be said of us all. We all want safety, security, prosperity. Not just for Northreach, but for the entire realm. And we may yet achieve it. If only we work together. Will you join us in this? Yes. Thank you, Yura. Now that and today there are I give up. I don't care. I just I give up. <laughs> it takes so long to say anything. Madam Isabel, in I see. You're right. Forgive me for saying so, much. The dame said it herself, and that goes for you. You're one of us now. One of you. Well said. Well, I should see if Isabel needs. No, let's not see if Isabel needs help moving the wounded. <laughs> she can handle it herself, man. <laughs> Jesus Christ. There's no need to worry anymore. Why's it gotta take so long to say anything, dude? I don't mind the actual content, right? I don't mind going somewhere and fighting someone. Or, or, I mean, I guess even the fetch quests usually end up being fight this thing. Like, <laughs> so, it all comes down to, I don't mind running around killing things, dude. But do we have to listen to someone talk for 20 minutes each time? That seems like a bit much. I'd be happy to mount one end of a stretcher if it would help. Don't mention it. Oh, but I must. Tell me. If Northridge... I sense you would rather have done. For you, madame, I have all the time. We do not have all the time in the world. We'll listen to it because it's a Very backstory, well. like actual stuff, Long but... Ago, Jesus. I had a life in the crystalline dominion. I was Carla then. Courtesan to the nobility. So sought after was I that it was only they who could afford my time. Alas, those halcyon days were not to last. For naive as I was, I fell in love with a bearer. Mm -mm -mm. He was my master's careful with that. God, the gentlest man I have ever known. After they discovered us together, he was whipped bloody and forbidden from ever looking at me again. And so we fled. Not that we had anywhere to flee to. We wandered aimless and starving half dreading half praying that the next day would be our last until we found ourselves here in Northridge it was the veil that took us in that fed us clothed us and healed our hurts those that could be healed at least 
My love was already too far gone. He passed away? He did. Not long after we arrived. Curse, I'm assuming. But at least we were able to share a few moments of peace before the end. It was the greatest gift I have ever received. But the generosity of this town and her people did not end there. The men and women of the Vale supported me through my grief. Shared in it. Though I was still a stranger to them. They treated me like a sister. And so I swore that I would always do the same. Did they not know that he was a bearer though? Because aren't they just as mean to bearers in Northreach as... Yeah, no, they are. We had a side quest early on having to just feed the bearers because they were being worked to death. For sharing this with me. I find your story hard to believe, Isabel. <laughs> You're a lot like him, you know. Perhaps that is why I have such a soft spot for you. Never stop fighting, Clive. And I shan't either. I know that it will not be easy to keep Northreach together. But our efforts will be rewarded. Just look at us now. The people, the soldiers, even the Duke of Oriflam and his daughter. All united in defense of this town that we have come to call our home. And what of you? Can we count on your support too? Yep. Always. All right. Jesus Christ, dude. One side quest done. Ten more to go. <laughs> Fuck me, dude. Hey, we got an orc out or or calcum for that. I did not expect that. Maybe we don't have any more things to do then. Any more hunts? No, wait. I counted them. Because I looked up how many hunts there were. This the last one. We are missing Just a, a couple. I'm, I'm fairly certain we're missing a couple. Will you me a hand? Still in the but I didn't expect to get more Aura Calcum just for a side quest. <laughs> that was the last piece we needed though, right? So, did we just get lucky doing that quest way. first? Or are we going to end up with an overabundance of Aura Calcum? Would it be quicker to... Nah, it'd be about the same, I guess. Fly! I forget your name. What the fuck's your name? Ambrosia. <laughs> Jesus Christ, dude. Oh, shit. Don't care. <laughs> you raptors can fuck off. Going up here. He's a clean kills. Perhaps young Ember really is ready. <laughs> maybe not. <laughs> oh well, it was looking good for a moment there. I mean, we've had to save Gav's hide once Damn or twice. It. Draw your sword! Oh, oh God! Well, if you don't, you're probably gonna die. Just throwing that out there. You'll have to go through me. Oh, we missed. Oh, no, we didn't. We didn't even get it off. So to effectively use that against larger enemies, we either gotta find one hell of an opening, or... Or wait until we have them, like, half-staggered, basically. How well does it work? Oh, shit. That's not what I meant to do. Against bosses when they are... They're not bosses, but you know. Stronger enemies. Eh, not that great. Oh shit, I was on the wrong. <laughs> My bad. Damn you. Oh, 
That's not what I meant to do. Oh well. I think it's a pretty good combo. I think if we chained it all together correctly, we could get pretty good damage. Ember, are you? <laughs> He's gone. <laughs> gone. Of course. Scouts really are a rare breed. <sighs> Back to Northreach it is then. Well, he tried. Uh, turn around. Where are you at? There he is. I didn't expect you back so soon. Where is Ember? How did he fare? I thought I'd find him with you. He must have fled. I followed him to Eastwatch, where I found him being set upon by a wild Avis. He was just standing there. Didn't even draw his sword. I had to step in and take care of things. But by the time I had, he was nowhere to be seen. I assumed he'd set off in your direction, but... Apparently not. Oh, I'm sorry, Sid. Maybe he went in to grab the, the book? Street, but he seemed like... The right man for the job? I believe this is the logbook you tasked me with retrieving. Hey? How did you... Don't you tell me you breached the tower while Sid was busy saving your skin. <laughs> what? <laughs> Wasn't that what you asked me to do? I to mean... bring the thing back without getting caught? Uh... He has you then, is there? And he did it all on his own. But Sid, he... He did what he thought was best. And now I have to decide whether I agree. Of course. We'll await your evaluation back at the hideaway. Don't you leave my sight. <laughs> yes, Sergeant. I mean, I ain't mad about it, man. <laughs> this won't be an easy decision. Nothing else to do here. So on to the next one. Aha, and look at that. Hunts have opened up. Uh, I think I'm going to wait and just do all the hunts at the end. Because otherwise I'll keep checking back for them and it'll just get annoying. So, Okay, this one's right here. Actually, they're both really close to teleports at least, which is handy. can fit in the boat with you. <laughs> I wasn't being serious. You two go on without me. Why aren't you coming? I doubt that boat will hold a third. If you're sure, we won't be long. You can Hop swim. In, <laughs> Let Torgo in the boat. Joshua can swim. That seems fair. This is a whole new, yeah. Race you there? I bet I could still beat you. 
I doubt it. <laughs> Door was pretty quick, dude. Here we are. This was our hideaway. Wasn't it, Torgo? Looks pretty nice despite the 20 years or so. Coming here helped me to forget who I was or wasn't. Prince, Shield, son his mother could love. Had I been any one of those things? Perhaps. What is it, boy? This is all from the castle. And Phoenix Gate. Did you bring these here? His barring sword. That's cute, dude. Well, well. <laughs> you never stopped looking for me, did you, boy? Let's take this with us, shall we? So I don't forget either. That's a cute moment. Wait, is there more? That's not the way back to the boat, Toggle. All right, all right. I'm coming. I think I know where we're going. I'm guessing just somewhere with a pretty, pretty view. Yep. People always talk about the importance of putting the past behind you, but without it, we wouldn't be who we are today, and we certainly couldn't steer our way to a better tomorrow. Come on, Toggle. Let's go home. And I like, I want to eat more chunky, but at the same time, I know I shouldn't eat more chunky. Level up forty seven. Have all fang plus one. Oh, cool. Oh, it's an accessory, though. Yeah, we're not going to use that, but sorry for the oh, wrong button. Are we allowed to go back there? I Man, I don't think there's going to be anything there for us, but... Oh, 
Plus destination nearby, huh? What are we doing here? We just... Oh, wrong way. <laughs> are we just looking for someone to speak to? Or are we collecting something? Ah, oh, the oil. That's right, I remember now. Needs oil. After what happened here, it's a miracle there was any left at all. Do we need more than that, I suppose? This should be enough. Is that enough? Okay. Really? No quests at Martha's Rest? I'm surprised. All right, well, I guess that's it here, then. Down to Dalmechia. Which I know also had some locked-off areas. Or no, did it? I might be confusing it with a Valud, actually, now that I think about it. I think we unlocked all of this area. Um, I guess we'll stop here first to see where this quest is going to take us. Because if two of them are next to each other, that would be awfully convenient. So we might as well unlock all the quests first and then go from there. Oh, you're still here. I expected you gone by now, Luvor. Thanks, but I'll be traveling You're really going to go through with this then? I am. But... Before I go, if it's within my power to help, it's the children. Mm, the children, yeah. And if I leave them here, they surely will. Our French. I can think of only one place where they are certain to. Yeah, they can come of to course. the hideaway. Thank you, Clive. Lubor, are you still? What is it, Ferda? There's been a flood in the Velcroy. The League of Outlaws encampment was completely sub. What? Every last one of the bastards has to And it's a one thing. But a cat. We need to evacuate. Further, gather them. The Akashic may strike at any moment. Well? Yes, my lord. Clive, change of plan. The children stay with me for now. Tell them to prepare for a full. Understood. I'll do what I can to convince them. You know, for something that time is of the essence for, uh, <laughs> sure do take your time talking, my guy. You have to listen to me. They're coming. Why do they always have to make such a <gasps> Ah, it's you. There's me. What do you want, Lord Underhill? To pass on an important message. There's been an ether flood. Out of the camp where the so-called League of Outlaws were gathering has been... They're no longer just bandits. Now, you need to begin preparing for a full scale of... Oh, do we? And... Lube or perhaps... The man. You may believe his lies, my lord. But why would he lie about something? Some twisted attempt to... If he had not been unmasked... A great honor for one of his... One, he might well feel a grief. Lord Underhill, forgive me, but it has... Lubor cannot be trusted. You may not trust me. But if there is any chance that this is... There isn't. You can be... Now be off with you. I'd say we Don't just let the town mistake. fall. Fuck him. Come, Clive. If our words will not move them, then we must find another way to help save the town. Right. Let's speak to Lord Ferda. Ferda. Who was Ferda? Was he the bathhouse dude? I honestly I don't remember at this point, man. <laughs> There's too right. many characters. If they're not one of, like, the main group, I ain't gonna remember you. Sorry, there's new stuff in the shop. <laughs> it's more important than whatever the hell's going on here. Ah, that's it. That's Thank it. Thank you for your custom. Hello, Ferda. Lord Ferda. Sid, what's wrong? I went to warn Conrad and Natalie about it. They've convinced themselves that nothing Lubos the bloody fools. Which means the town guard can't be counted on, but I can. If there's a you only have to ask. I appreciate it. Sid! Ferda! Victor. I couldn't abandon a friend in, and Blue Boy is in need at this very moment. They trying to kick him out? 
forcefully, I presume. You have to believe me. The Akashic are coming. They don't eat. They don't sleep. They don't tire. And they don't care. I who can't they skip. Kill. <laughs> They're unlike anything that's come before. There won't be no parley, no mercy granted. We may have saved the town once, but this is different. I do not ask that you forgive me, but please believe me. If you do not run, you will die. You will all fucking die! You'd like that, wouldn't you, Bearer? Yeah, with us out of the way, your kind will be free to claim Dalamil for yourselves. You who should run! <gasps> run, Bearer! Yeah, yeah. yeah run! run. Yeah. Far, far run. away! Run! Just go, Bearer! Yeah. After everything he's done for the town, dude, just because they find out he's a bear, like, that's fucking insane, man. So dumb. Wait, someone's coming. Stop! You're hurting him! What did Lubor ever do to you? Hmm? He solves all your stupid problems and he keeps all of you safe. You know there's nothing he wouldn't do for this town. Who was it who made that cleaver you use every day, Conrad? And what about your counting table, Natalie? Who fixed that? Whose men make sure the streets are clean so all your boots don't get dirty? Who spends all day every day making sure things run smoothly around here? And none of you ever say thank you, ever! But did Lubor ever complain? Well, does he ever stop smiling? He keeps this whole place going! And you act like it doesn't even exist! Lubo, we have heard enough. Wait! We will not run. The town guard will not abandon the very place it is sworn to protect. And I will not give up for lost the stores that we labored so hard to fill. <sighs> so tell us, how do you propose we deal with these Akashic of yours? Ah, they've all come to understand each other. But we About fucking fight. time. Jesus Christ, dude. All right, then. <clears throat> Fine. Gather round if you don't want to die. How do we fit into this plan, Lord Lubor? L Lubor? <laughs> Allow me to explain. The ether flood occurred near the village of the place had been abandoned for you until the League of Outlaws decided. Now they're all turned, and in the sky. They are mindless monsters. With the bandits, we at least knew how and when these creatures come. 
Delamil will have the... The town guard will muster at the north gate. Both forces will provide men to serve as scout, and as soon as it has been, we will... Conrad, can I count? Always. I leave the selection and coordination of the messengers and... And the command of our men in yours. Consider it done. As you wish. Natalie, I would ask that you and your people and tell the merchant not to waste time secure. As long as we survive, it doesn't... Our riches can be regained. And if anyone doubts that... Very well. Where do I fit into this plan? Where else but the most... I would like you to travel to the home of our erstwhile main host is most likely still there. And Dalamil will... A little gardening. <sighs> I doubt it. I have a feeling... Luckily, so am I. So you are. All right, then. We all know what we have to do. Now it's simply a matter of doing it. Yay! <laughs> Let's go fight people. Looks like everyone's ready. Sure, we can make quick work of them. Is there? Yeah. Quick way up there. Saved us 400 yards. I'll take it. Waiting for us inside. I'm sure it's nothing. Couple bandits, couple creatures. We've dealt with it all a million times before. It's nothing new. We can't leave a single one alive. There we go. <laughs> That's what I was trying to do. Yeah, I mean, I expected that. Didn't expect it was going to be the one fight. He's a big one. I didn't even realize he had a stagger gauge. Ow, you dick. <laughs> I'm trying to test something here, Mr. Akashic Gentleman. Good. It does freeze time. It just takes a moment. Eighty-three thousand. Not bad. Not bad. I'll take it, man. And technically, we would have had time to get off Diamond Dust as well if we hadn't used it to, you know, get him into Stagger. So. I should get back to Dalamil and see how the others fared. Oh, wait. Bro, I think I forgot to use fucking Zantetsukin. <laughs> <laughs> that we decided was like another 20 some thousand. So that's probably a hundred thousand combo. All the At least against that enemy. To find have been dealt with. Seems that might be the last of them. The last of them here, perhaps. I had to double check, but yeah, I think I forgot to actually use Antes again in level five. <laughs> Clive! What news from Charitina? It's done. 
Root and branch. I... Thank you, my lord. Friends, the horde has been... And we need not fear the arrival of... Ed. Victory is ours. We bloody did it. We saved... Lubor, after all you have done for this chap... But we did. We only hope that you can forgive. We need you, Lubor. So, if you would still... You do remember... We do. It is a stain on ours. I see. But... I will name them. Firstly, that you will both do everything in your power if the town guard and the merchants league do not accept my mm -hmm. unity is the key to defending that. When that time comes, I will of course. And second, you will accept that the mistreatment of bearers, any bearer within our walls shall be afforded that they will not be judged by what as we failed to do. We agree to your conditions. Condition ex Well then, it seems my mayorship is all but confirmed. You're pushing your luck here, Lubor. Maybe just take it slow, my guy. How fit. Not so long ago, I had resigned my. And now, here. Lubo. Fear not, you are of course. I would sooner face another horde of Akashic than. I'll make sure they're safe. I don't doubt that you will, and not just the children. I'll do my. Can't have all your hard work. Yay! We saved the town, and Lubor has been accepted. And the children don't have to live in the hideaway. Another quest down. We're getting there. We're getting there. Briar's Kiss sound, signboard, <laughs> soundboard, eh, whatever. <laughs> All right. Uh, Tabor, because again, it's another brand new quest, and we never know where it's gonna lead us, or, or is it? Or no, no. Oh, there's two there. Okay. Oh, the more reason to go to Tabor, I guess. Another new shop. Probably nothing I care about. Yeah. Nope. Come again. Um. Okay. One's inside here. The Undying. Your Grace, Matsuro. Yes. If you would do us... I know that I ask much of you in this coming war, but I see no other way to secure a future for our duchy and our family. Yet even should we succeed in subduing the savages and winning back Drake's breath, the threat of the blight still looms, and only with all Rosaria striving as one might we at last overcome it. I've made plans to see us through, but such are the obstacles that stand in our way. It shall likely fall to you to continue my work. I know that you have the strength, the courage, and the will to do so. This shall be an arduous inheritance, and so I offer you another, that you might be reminded of the love and the faith that I hold for both of you. Signed, your father. An inheritance? It would seem the late Archduke, the day before we left for... What are these plans? His plans for the duchy, your grace. Your father, it, the complete emancipation of but your father's dream hey. end there. His grace also, sp with the blight spreading ever more widely across the twins, he wished to see men and bearers treated as equals. Small wonder he did not think it achievable within it. But he thought it achievable nonetheless. Nor would he have entrusted his v those who would have stood with you. It's a pity only they are still with her. Mm. It is true, but one at least remain. What do you mean? Mayhap it is better that she, after all, the duties entrusted to me by my predecessor. And where is this woman? She awaits you in the Ark. Thank you, Cyril. Shall we then? So our dad wanted to emancipate all of the bears within Rosaria. Good for him.
Wait, what? Why is it still showing in there? Oh, there must have been two quests for him <laughs> that we had to speak to him about. My lord. I... And you are? I am Goditha, retainer of House Rosfield, mm. loyal servant to the Phoenix and his shields. Your father, the Archduke Elwyn, and... Lift up your head, Lady God. You have our gratitude. I merely did my duty. My lady. What exactly is the... As I'm sure you know, it has long been the custom... Indeed it has. And had he lived to see it, he would have presented... Alas. If he had intended to claim the heart stone with... But it was not to be. I see. It saddens me to bring them... If it was your father's wish that you be present... But with his grace long since gone. And you are grown men now. And while I would not presume to insist, I know that nothing... Thank you. What say you? What else? Of course, my lady. No, oh, I am much. Do you know where we might find them? I do. Though it is found in the bellies of elf. We do at least. Oh, nice. No, okay, so we just got to kill some griffins. Certain specimen. You are most perceptive, your crate. In fact, this is the very same beast your father. Were you to slay it? That's it an old ass griffin. As what say you, Joshua? What else? If it's been alive since our, since we were just kids, you know. Mm, nah, I don't care. Nope. <laughs> Not talking to him. Okay. To the south of here. But we must not be hasty. The good lady has been disappointed once already. Back to this guy again. Hello, Cyril. Apparently you have another thing for us. Lord Marquis. What is it, sir? One of our brethren lately journeyed across the he sent an owl, some Was he surveying another No. The object of his stuff, an ancient religion, by gaining ah, religion that faith, that worshipped Ultima. So you sent one of your brothers to Ash. Fully cognizant, I entrusted the mission to one of the most able of us. Though he has been silent for some days now, yet it seemed only right to inform you. For as you so earnestly advised me, it. Okay, we can do that. He would not. Go save the guy, maybe learn a little bit about Ottoman at the same the last time. The owl I received from Mickleberg was it. It lies in the sun if aught ill befell it. All right. You are much to go then with my hopes. That shouldn't be hard. Uh, let's start making our rounds then. We're getting there, dude. We're getting there. <laughs> oh no, okay. I must have used Antetsuken because it's down to level three. So, so we're we're looking at roughly eighty-five thousand. The combo we currently have. That's not bad. Eyes peeled, Joshua. And it should get better as we get better and better gear. Or well, you know, the best sword in the game, which hopefully we'll be getting before too long. Is this the griffin? Yep. Hello, griffin. There it is. The house was filled. Wow, dude. That didn't do shit. <laughs> You within reach, yeah. Good. You dick. Oh, bastard. 
I can't see you. Whatever, you're staggered. I'm not mad about 85 grand, dude. I'll take it. Ow. Kill him? Probably not. But fuck it, let's see. Maybe? Yeah, he's dead. Dope. Yeah, that level 5 Zantat skin makes it worth it, man. 100%. The sword? I'm surprised the sword is so weak. I guess they just didn't want it to be, like, OP, you know? Is this the hunt? Because otherwise, what would be the point of all of the, the crafting and the story swords and all that BS? But it sucks that it does so little damage on its own. Where am I going? Oh, up top. You know what? Put a thingy on it. There we go. Or right here. Close enough. Hello, Gardatha. Oh, thank the fuck Griffin is slick. And the heartstone clip. Have the heartstones? Yes. This radiant lust. Thank you, my... Your father would be... Lady Gardatha. Thank you, Cyril. If you would excuse me. Convenient that the one Griffin had too. Is that normal? Do all Griffins have two heartstones inside them? Hearthstones, whatever. Heartstone is harder and more enduring than God. And the graven vines encircling... It's a message. Enemies who would thwart his vision. And only if we stood together. As fi Indeed. But this was more... It was a promise. Thank you for remaining the steadfast... Forgive me, my lady. There is something I don't quite... The Undying told me that after Father died, Mother claimed all of the ducal treasures for her own. Even if the armbands were incomplete, she would so... Because I was the keeper of the vault. Though I want of the deep love he had for in the days before. So you disaster, stole them is what I you're saying. <laughs> when word of the fire reached Rosaleth, I knew my time. And thank the founder you did. Yet my duty to your father was incomplete. And so my pursuit continued. He informed me that his grace's will had Lady Godatha. As do I. Thank you, my lord, for coming back to us. The Founder's Grat. The bands suit you well. It must be gratifying to finally res- It is. <laughs> if you would permit me to play my part a little longer, let him see that you have received- I suppose it would be church. What do you say, Clive? I think we should- I was hoping to be able to offer him my- Your father's helm is in- Since the day we recovered it, I prithee claim it. And I do not doubt that your father would prefer it in you. Thank oh. you, sir. Okay. <laughs> well, I thought it was done. I guess not. Come on, Clive. So, wait, where the hell are we going? Archduke Elwyn's Memorial. That's not going to be here, though, right? That's going to be back in Rosaria. God damn it. Oh, that's what this place is for. I 
Still mad this hasn't opened up yet, though. <laughs> it's got to open at some point. Oh, uh, before I forget, what does the armband do? Is it any good? It gives us more HP, but we lose three defense. 18 HP for three defense? I don't actually know which one's better in that case. I expected the Ouroboros stuff to be better, to be honest with you, since it's supposedly the best, you know, gear in the game. You know what, fuck it. This one has more meaning. So, even if we do lose the defense, it seems worth it. Unwavering will and an unbreakable bond. Do you really think we're strong enough? We got Save this, brother. Of course. To have overcome father's political enemies. That I'm less certain, especially knowing what we know now, what Mother was truly capable of, and perhaps these bands would have helped. Knowing he was with us would have made all the difference. Ow, you dick. <laughs> Bruh, out of the air he got me. Rude. <laughs> Can we just ignore him? Is she going to leave him? Go away, you dick. Thank you. <laughs> We've stopped here before, have we not? Was the helm there the first time we came? For what he believed was right. I'm just surprised we made no mention of it being like our father's grave. It wasn't until that night at Phoenix Gate that I realized I had never fought for anything. I always had someone else to do the fighting for me. No matter how fate conspired against him, he never lost heart, never looked back. Never stopped fighting. To me, he was the greatest of men. And I've been trying to live up to his ideals ever since. We all have Clive. The helm's in surprisingly good we'll condition. Have. And we'll keep trying. Because that's what he would have wanted. Surprise it hasn't been stolen from the grave. What he would have done himself. Even if it meant standing against the very gods in the heavens. I shall be borrowing this, father, if I may. That you might watch over us as we follow in your footsteps. <laughs> Clive, you're going crazy, man. <laughs> you're seeing ghosts. You literally. Onward, then. Onward. And to a new begin. All right, that's another one down. Rusted Battle Helm. Oh, that's just a uh, memory. Was it rusted? It looked pretty clean to me, man. I don't know. Joshua has joined Clive's party and will remain with him until departing for Origin. I 
That's weird. Uh, I mean, because, like, wasn't he already <laughs> with us? <laughs> That's the only reason why it's weird. I guess this is probably the closest. Uh, wrong way. Put a thingy down so I know where I'm going exactly. This way. Come here, Chocobo. Come on. Yeah. Let's go, Ambrosia. To do whatever the hell we're doing here. <laughs> I don't honestly remember which quest this was. I'm assuming it's to kill something. Is this the Adamantoys? This might be the Adamantoys. Here we are again. Karava. If you were a tortoise, Togo. Aha, yep. Hide. Uh, inside the ruins of this building. It looks like we or just him. right there, apparently. That works, too. So much health they got, dude. Damn you. Huh, get his head. <laughs> Am I at level 5 yet? No, I'm trying to get it up to level 5. Five. Ah, I should have waited. Oh well. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get it off before. Come on. Nope. Damn it, dude. Oh well. Ah, oh, so fucking close. If I had just used that instead of doing the, the triangle move again, probably would have killed him in the stagger. Okay, we got the shell. So she can finish it. And one left here. And then we have a trip to Walud and some hunts. I don't think we're going to finish the game tonight. <laughs> but we should at least be able to clear all of the side missions. You won't find a finer array this side of the strait. Gilbert smile upon you. Did you have a orchestrian? You did. A fine choice. We just gotta run south, right? Yep. Well, I don't have a map, so which way south? Maybe I should put a thingy down. Do you see that too? I saw nothing, I am blind. It's a giant Stop. crystal. Stop. What does it look like? Stop. A giant yes. floating crystal with that. It's fine. I'm going to deal with it. Y'all got nothing to worry about. Come on. Yeah. What was this one for? I don't remember which side quest this was. I don't even remember which ones we have left, really. We have the one for Cyril. Still to do. 
That's the only one I can even... Oh, wait, no, we had the one for, uh... For, for the lady. Whatever her name was, to find the book. But that one's in Walud as well. What did we have to go here for? Oh, to speak to Rutherford, of course. For Byron, for our, for our uncle. Turncoats and cowards, the lot of you! If it's a fight you want, it's a fight you shall have! Allow me. I don't need your... Please, uh, Field Marshal, oblige him. This won't take long. No, it really won't. You're right. It won't. Men, finish him. Hi, rat bastards. They're dead. <laughs> Was that enough for you, Rutherford? Is that all you needed to see? A little longer than I'd have liked. A little longer than I would have liked. Shut up. Field Marshal Havel, I presume. Are either of you injured? No, my lord. You arrived just as our escort turned on us. Fucking traitors. I'd heard reports of soldiers in the outlying regions abandoning the oaths, but I hadn't thought the corruption had reached. It's a fucking disgrace. Your interfering old bastard of an uncle tried my lord, Marquis. Or is Sid the outlaw, Morty, or... Call me what you want. It doesn't change who I am. All the urgency of the message I bring. Before I agreed, I'd have you answer one. What do you stand to gain? I won't deny that I might. That I seek a new beginning. And while the choices I've made may not all, I know I made them for the right reason. For so long, so many of us have been told how we could live when it should have been our decision all along. But in order to take it, we must stand together. Even if certainly not the words I expected from an out, you are no ordinary outlaw. I never hear the end of this. All right. I'll start by ordering my most trusted guard to. Next, I'll make contact with my counterparts in the Imperial Army and see. Thank you, Field Marshal. But they are not the. O what do you mean? I don't doubt that I can bully some sense into a few generals. We will need an envoy, one who can court even the most stubborn of states. I'm flattered. And I have other problems. What we need is a skilled arbitrator. Is that so? And would he happen to be an... Of a different kind, perhaps. Oh, beggars can't... I suppose we'll all have to find a little of the outlaw on ourselves if we're to make it through this. I shall. Lubor? Uh, my Lord Marquis. He's a pretty decent arbiter. Your Lord Uncle bade me escort the field. And I will see that my associate joined. Very good. Who else do we have as an arbiter? An envoy. I can barely convince my brother to take his medicine. Someone like Quinton. Quinton? Who the fuck is Quinton? <laughs> I don't remember, dude. Do they do they live here? They don't live here. So who the fuck was Quinton? They must be back at home. Oh Jesus, okay. Ah, okay. So that's how we get in there. One, two, three, four things to do here. Fuck me. Well, bitching about it ain't gonna do anything. Let's get started. 
after I take a drink. There you go. There's your hydrate. <laughs> Perfect timing. That's <laughs> literally what I was doing. No, yes. I was drinking as it came up. That counts. <laughs> You rehydrate. <laughs> you take a drink. Come on. Oh, getting stuck on the walls and everything. Jesus Christ, the chocobo stuck. This isn't how this works. <laughs> it is now, man. <laughs> I make the rules here. <laughs> oh god, chocobo go. Oh, this is this isn't even the right fuck. This away. Uh, bruh. Oh my god, maybe maybe riding the chocobo through here wasn't the right idea. It's getting stuck on everything. I don't care about them. Just ignore them. I'm surprised they didn't aggro on us, to be honest. We were relatively close to them, but these ones did? And we were far as hell away from those ones. So how do we get... Okay. Road here. Turn, damn you, Chocobo. Turn. Oh, my God. You would think these beasts would be smart enough to not just run straight into everything in the world. Oh. Oh, they're still alive. I didn't expect that. These people aren't turned. And the village seems safe enough at least. Ah. Oh. Did you too heed the call? Heed the call? No, I, to be honest, I. Hmm, is that. What are you doing here? It is my home. You keep saying that. They came here to perform the rite. This village, where they shall cast their souls. Give themselves. Oh, Lord. Oh, my God. Wait. Cleanse us of our sins. Are they choosing to become they a Kashyyyk? Free us from the... They want to be... Forgive me. You mean the traveler from stone? Thank you. They seek the same salvation Barnabas did. <sighs> At least the third chair still lives. Let's go and find him. Let's just pray that once we do whatever we need to do in this town, it doesn't turn into, like, an actual town that we have to, you know, do side quests and shit for. I don't think it will, but... Oh, he's actually alive? I was expecting him to be a Kashik. I'm not gonna lie. Excuse me. I'm just chilling in the house here. <laughs> like, Are you with the Undying? I am. Lord Rosfield. That's right. And you must be the third chair. I am. Cyril was worried for your safety. And I must apologize. I did not mean to trouble the bearer of the burning. He said that you had failed to report. I came here to study the followers of this new faith. You have seen them at their prayers. Oh my god, for real, dude? <laughs> you believe these nuts? The veneration of their lord. With a fervor I have never seen before. Praying night and day that they might be rid of their wicked wills. Not that they might be granted respite from their worldly woe. Serve him with all I too swore to devote my life to the service of my... Yeah, so they're crazy. That's what it is. The end. See these people safe that they might do their duty to their lord. Even if it should... You do understand... I do, my lord. They would cast aside their wills and become a... I know that it may be hard to believe, but to these people... Forgive me, my lord. But I must... There's nothing wrong with, like, being devoted to your happening. faith, but willingly well, becoming a mindless beast? <laughs> like... <laughs> Bruh. The fuck? The flood. 
Oh. Oh no. I guess they got their wish. There must be something I can do. Echoes as well. Found her. Ready, brother? Ready. GG's all around. You're not gonna live long. You guys are pretty spread out. This looks like a decent place. And dead. Santetsuki in level 5 just feels like cheating. I'm not going to lie, man. What now? Bigger echo? Bigger echo. We meet again. Bigger glowing echo. He scurred. You've killed your kind before. Yep, okay. <laughs> we took some hits doing it, but I wanted to get the Zantetsu getting charged up as quickly as possible. Almost there. Tank the hits too, don't care. Perfect. Oh shit, that's not, that's such a waste of time. That was such a fucking waste, dude. Hey, 95,976 though, pretty good. So is that going to be enough to convince that guy that he's crazy? That sucks. GG to him. Don't you guys realize if you become a Kashik, you're basically going to become one of them? Like, not robotic, but no will of your own. Just mindlessly attacking anything you see. Like... Come on, speak to me. 
had to save them, that they might have a chance to find true salvation by devoting themselves to the service of their Lord. God. Just as I did. And I plucked me from the gutter and gave me a cause to believe in. They're crazy. <laughs> That's what they are. They're crazy. Serve was everything to me. And I would not deny them that fulfillment. Even if they must become a Kashik in order to achieve it. Forgive me, my Lord Marquis. I did not mean to trouble you with this. My findings. Could you deliver them to Master Cyril for me? Oh, sure. Why not? Of course. Your duty will be done. Ah. Look, my lord. They are saved. Yeah, they're saved, so I can turn around and murder them. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Or no, they're just gonna leave. God. It's weird how sometimes it chooses to teleport us back like this, and other times it doesn't. They are saved. Found that. I should get this report to Cyril. Thankfully, loading times are short, so it doesn't really matter, but... I wouldn't have minded finishing everything in the loot before Marcus. I left again. Well, I'm glad to see... I met with your third chair, Cyril. Thank you. He remained... He died protecting the villagers. I buried him in Mickleburg. I'm... If you could not save... The villagers, they were... They prayed to their god that they might be unburned. Then an ether flood came. Your brother sacrificed himself, even knowing that that life... Then he perished defending lip. For the right to choose how one dies... Is... <laughs> so I mean, agree. I guess, but they're still crazy, to dude. Noble like... ambition. Uh, uh. To die for one's cause, it matters not how misguided others might. Only that the decision we live... According to the teachings of our, for better or worse. But he didn't die for your creed, and you still believe that what he did. I believe we of the undying are not slaves, and this was his will. I'd like to know this man's name, sir. To know the names of all the undying who fallen. They died serving my house. That is my duty. Of course. I shall fetch the Book of Martyrs. My lord, it's the greatest honor of my life, though our duties may differ. And were they here, I have. Oh, another one down. Almost there. We got what, two left? Another Oracalcum. Do we even need another Oracalcum? Maybe. We might have. And they opened up my mind. Trophy earned. I'm guessing that's for that specific quest. Based off of the naming of it. I'm just waiting for that achievement that pops up that says, Hey, you finished every side quest. That's, that's the one I want to see, man. Okay, so just up the stairs and over there. Can we take Ambrosia up there? Doris is waiting for me near Belmont Dark. The longer she's out in the open, the more likely she is to be found by a Kashik. I need to hurry. I'll find her when I find her. 
We've got other things to deal with right now. Or wait. That's who he's talking about, actually. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. We're going there. <laughs> Are they gonna follow me in here? No, okay. Well they might have if it weren't for the quest trigger. There were no guards, I take it. None manning the gates, no. It's if Chadwick was being held here. Don't give up hope just yet. Let me check the ground floor. Then I'll search the upper level. Just help out all the floods inside the walls. Bad enough to turn a bearer. I hope not. We're risking a lot just being here. Gonna keep my eyes open for signs of life. That looks like a perfect place for a hunt, man. I'd be surprised if there doesn't end up being a hunt inside there once we unlock it. King of Wulud hereby designates this facility a prison for the detainment of bearers, both foreign and domestic. The purpose of this facility is to rear and train Akuza Beast for deployment in the field. The aforementioned purpose is a matter of strictest secrecy, and any mention thereof is to be punishable by death. Captive bearers have been provided solely for the pursuit of the aforementioned purpose. Express permission is required for use of bearers in any other capacity. So this place was no ordinary prison, and I doubt they'll have taken the creature with them when they fled. Okay. Ooh, chest. <laughs> God, <laughs> so happy to have gotten 20 sharp fangs. Thank fuck, dude. There is one bonus, I guess, about this sword. Even though it's weak, it seems to stagger smaller creatures. Right? Because if we put away the sword... Ah, uh, no, okay. I guess it's roughly the same. I just want to build up the gauge, honestly. One more? Nope, that's it. Okay. Now you can die. There was a note down there. Ah, oh, what? Where did you come from? Were you... Were you already here? I do not remember you, dude. <laughs> The Kuza has long been recognized as an especially aggressive species. This being the case, it was hoped that successful deployment on the battlefield might be a means of inflicting heavy casualties on the enemy. An exercise is conducted thus far, however, the beast has proven incapable of distinguishing between allied and enemy combatants. As such, deployment alongside regular troops is not recommended. It is proposed instead that bearer captives be employed in order to draw enemy focus and the beast then driven into the fray in order to achieve maximum benefit with minimal loss of Waluder lives. So the goal was... Basically, this beast will kill everything it sees. So instead of, you know, using loss of our lives. people that we care about, we're just going to use bearers because they're not people, bread. right? It's good stuff. Good stuff. <laughs> Recent supply shortages left us with insufficient resources to feed the Kuza entrusted to our care. Fortunately, the creature was observed to kill and consume the bears designed to fight beside it in a mock battle conducted as part of its training. The beast was further observed to enter a state of visible contentment upon feeding in this way, suggesting that live bears may even be its preferred source of sustenance. While this behavior is unexpected, it is not unwelcome. Bears no longer of use for training purposes can now be repurposed as required. Bears to it. Jesus Christ, this my guy. Nothing but a cashing down here. Hopefully things are looking better upstairs. Is there anything on the other side? No, the doors were still locked. Okay. I should go and see how Doris is getting on. Uh, not this one. Next one. 
Up, up, up we go. If I can get off the wall. Uh, we'll come that way in a second. Is there anything down here? I guess it doesn't really matter which way we go. Uh, fuck. Now I don't know which way is the right way to go. Uh, back this way then. Why do I even care, man? We're, <laughs> we're not going to find anything that matters. But the quest objective is this way. One more. Oh, you're still alive? Not now. There she is. Hello. No luck downstairs. But I did. F I know. I've been reading bearers die every day in service of their pitting bearers against a wild beast armed with and not just those who could fight, but and those who wouldn't or couldn't. I'm afraid. Then we're too late. Don't say that. A uh, key. Perhaps so for the locked door the down there. Finish up here. All right. Now, can we get downstairs from over here? God. Is this thing going to be one of the hunts? Whatever, well, fuck, I've already forgotten what it was called <laughs> that they were quote unquote training and feeding the bearers to, but I bet you that's one of the hunts. Whether we end up facing it now or come back to face it in a bit. Let's see what we that just makes too here. much sense. Oh. Well, the door's open. Well, not door exactly, but the bars are pried apart and we can enter. Oh, there's a girl. A survivor. And she sounds close. Hello, child. It's going to be okay now, hopefully. There's no need to be a... Are you alone? Some of the guards... Thanks the fuck. It was worth our coming. Ready when you are, you poor thing. He, what? He fought them on. He must have sent you. Where is he? He'll Chadwick. Was that? What? We have to get out of Doris. All right. You put that. Oh, there he is. He looks friendly. Bears. Would bears taste different than regular people? Something about the magic infused within them, you know? Give them a little bit of spice, a little bit of a kick. A tingle on the tongue, I imagine. I guess it's not a hunt. Oh, never mind. It is a hunt. It's a hunt that's part of a quest. I think that's the first time I've had that happen. I'm okay with this, though. Oh shit, wrong, uh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you dickhole.
Oh shit, Comet. <laughs> oh well, whatever. It's fine. What's a little Comet every now and then? Jesus Christ. Actually... Oh fuck, dude. I don't really want him to go into Stagger because we're not going to be able to do the full damage, but whatever. Maybe? I don't know, man. It's going to be close. Ah, damn you. Whatever. Are we even hitting him? Okay, yeah. The camera was just a little <laughs> fucked up there. my guy turns out doubling your damage output makes things a hell of a lot easier man or at least quicker having a shit ton of potions on our person all the time makes it easier too because we can just tank basically everything and not worry about it Finally. Sid are you hurt? I'm fine I think. Were you looking at something? Ah, okay. Oh, no. What is it? A diary. He was here. I'm sure he fought bravely to the last. Chadwick. Come on. We have to. No. I'll see that she's. So sad. Around. You didn't collect the diary? You should have taken it as like a memento, something to remember him by. Oh fuck, we got teleported back here? Bruh, why can we not stay in Walud? Every quest we finish in Walud has taken us back so or taken us somewhere else. I, mean, I guess we might as well turn out uh, turn in everything else then. She is. I thank the flames we found. I know. I'm sorry we weren't able There's no need to apologize. How he fought to the that's the man I remember. I wish I could have met him. I'd like to hear more about your past. Of course. You already met my former master. She tried we were supposed to be sold to the highest bidder when the time came. For years we were her daggers in the shadows, so we escaped. After so many years of training, the pull to serve was But even in captivity, the button he died not as someone's tool. Hyde Marie is proof of that. And the curse breakers will sh I'll fight until my dying breath. Thank you, Doris. So sweet. Okay. <laughs> uh, I wonder if we have everything we need to make the Gottenberg or whatever the hell it's called. The final sword. So we've collected some ore calcum at least. <laughs> I don't remember what all we needed though. Uh, okay, so go this way first. Check out the hunt board. Since it has been updated. I'm hoping everything's unlocked now. Yes, I think at least. Masterless Marauder. So that's somewhere in Walud. The Grim Reaper. That's in Sam Breck. The Pensions Gate, also in Sam Breck. 
I wonder if those are going to be in that area that we haven't unlocked yet. Well, no, that area doesn't look large enough to hold two beasts, though. Hmm. Oh, I wasn't expecting you back, so we'll probably deal with the hunts next time. Genji gloves. You earned this. What is that? Come again. Is it any good? Genji gloves. Increase damage dealt to enemies by 5%. So just a 5% damage increase. That is pretty good. Oh, but I don't think... Nah, I don't think it's worth giving up 30 defense for them. You should have seen... Welcome back, Sid. Welcome back. Yes. Truth be told, it was me. But from what I hear, no. Yes. Amber lost his nerve in the that he didn't lose heart. Indeed, it is. The fact remains, however, that Ember will not always have a battle I have gleaned from this trial is that without someone watching his... Wait, Sergeant. And this time he was found wanting. After all, with a bit of hard work, any hand can be made to hold a blade. But a scout's nose is different. And by sniffing out that log, young Ed wouldn't do to waste him. Fine. I'll do whatever... I'll spend my days and nights in the pit. I'll show you. <laughs> Glad you're so excited to serve, Ember. Just like some. And if you ask me, well, at that time the curse breakers took some of the what? Good night. Just don't tell Gav I said so, will you? <laughs> Next thing you. <sighs> Forgive me, Sid. <laughs> but that's why we need men like Ember more than ever. Remember that. I, I will, Sid. Yay! Another one down. Breath of Lightning. Meh. I do... Are you serious? Bro! <laughs> Why? <laughs> There's not supposed to be new side quests. That was supposed to be it. Jesus Christ, man. They never end. It looks like there's a new one up here, too. Literally, this shit just goes on forever. Concerned for Jill. Though her icon brought her much suffering, the loss of Shiva weighs heavy on her heart, and we would be poor friends indeed if we not seek to lighten that burden, even but only a fraction. Before we depart for the skies, I would speak on this more in private. If Joshua was worried about... Why didn't that unlock with the rest of them? I guess maybe we need to complete Joshua's first. The skies. <laughs> they don't, I promise you. <laughs> there is a limit to how many side quests there is in the game. So it's just a be. fucking lot, apparently. Uh, what are we missing? We're missing one dark steel, which is a hunt. Okay. Else? It's probably the secret hunt. Which is somewhere in Walud. Oh my god. Alright, what the fuck does uh, Gav want, dude? Oh, you alright? Yeah, I'm good. Something troubling you. It's just. Yeah, this baby will be coming. I'm sure she'd like uh, I forgot all about her. <laughs> the pregnant lady. always make gifts when I. will let the little tight. So. Well, the problem is that. Is there anything I can do to help? Mm. All right then. A good look charm. Not just that. No. <laughs> There's Feather of a silver chocobo. Okay. Hard to come by. Only the big day is fast approaching. That or the bird whose arse it's attached to. I. I was gonna. Well, there's no shortage of the. I think I might make that my first port of call. You're a good friend, Cla Wait, don't we have a silver chocobo? <laughs> right now, I guess it's more white than silver. So, like, couldn't we just pull one out of the ass of, uh, good old Ambrosia there? But I suppose not. Let's go talk to Mid. Say what you will. Let her know we got some shit for her. 
speak with the merchants in Martha's Rest. There we go. I thought it was weird we didn't have to go to Martha's Rest. Turns out we do. Just wasn't quite ready for it yet. Alright, Mid. You got everything you need to make that thing fly? Mid. I don't know how one turtle shell is like supposed to make it uh, fly, but... It's most of what I need. And a cogwheel. Just years that smaller a bastard to make, and I... Wait, the children. Now that I think about it, I... They're... The young uns? But why would the... I'll keep working on the model. Okay. Well, that should just be a talk to the kid thing. That shouldn't be too bad, hopefully. Please tell me you guys kept it. Sid! She wasn't hurt. She's just busy working. A new invention! Is it an airship? Do you think she'll let us help? That just so happens to be why I'm here. A brass gear. A tiny one. Oh! The one you... We saved it! Just in... Since your lesson, we've been disassembling, then reassembling all the pieces that are left over. We can. That's. Look! I found it! I <laughs> wonder how many pieces they've saved up from shit they've torn apart and weren't able to put Is back together. Just the gear? We have more parts of mid <laughs> Right? Honestly, though. Now. Thanks, Sid. It's honestly insane, man. I feel bad for skipping so much of the, the voice lines, but I just can't anymore, man. I can't do it. It's too much. They did. Will it work? What exactly are you going to Only the most important. The wings aren't going to move on their own. Well. Okay. So that little brass cog is going to let you move. The entire set of wings. That should do it. Here goes nothing. <sighs> Titans. Titan's tits. That's my new favorite saying. <laughs> was it supposed to fly, was it? Of course it was supposed to fly. <laughs> Wouldn't be much of an airship if it didn't. That's what I'm going to start saying every time something fucks up in my life, dude. Honestly. Titan's tits. These bloody engines are driving me mad. I was so sure this would be the day she saw it. The mithril engine was made to make dreams come true. But maybe this is one dream the world's better off without. Show folk how to take flying. It won't be long till they're raining death down on each other. People will lose their homes. The Children model doesn't have mithril engines in it though, right? Like, wouldn't the engines power the like propellers? The whatever you want to call I'm them? Sorry. Wings? Whatever? So am I, Clive. So am I. Sorry that I have to choose. Do I follow my head? Or do I follow my heart? Good question. The first time I stood on the deck of your ship, I felt the wind in my hair. It was like I was flying. But... Imagine how it would feel to actually do it. My dad always said there were two ways of living life. Chasing a dream or shuffling to your grave. And he were right. Right about a lot of things. Not that I like to admit it. People need dreams to chase. Especially in a world like this. So chase it. Right. When this is over, 
I'm going to take all my mithril engines to Zemeckis and sling them over the edge. Wait, what? I won't have my dream end up turning into someone else's nightmare. All that hard work. All that hard work will not be used for war, Jamie. But it ain't like it'll be gone. Tell me, Clive. Have you ever been on a treasure hunt? Not since Joshua and I were boys. Why do you ask? Because I'm going to bury the engine schematics and leave behind a little riddle telling people where to find them. A really hard one. So that only the most dedicated dreamers will ever be able to work it out. Ooh, <laughs> I can picture it now. Some daft general squinting at the words with a gormless expression on his mug. Like that one, yeah. <laughs> huh. Right. She is gonna make a fly for us in the meantime, though, right? Like, don't tell me we spent all that time collecting shit for her. For nothing. <laughs> Just so she could make up her mind on whether she was gonna keep the engines around or get rid of them. Of course. If I'm putting this engine at the end of a treasure hunt, it won't be much of a prize if it couldn't even make a toy boat fly. <sighs> okay. But it's in the size of a dream that's important, is it? And I reckon I've got a fair few good- I'm sure you do. Maybe, maybe not. I honestly don't know at this point. I'm guessing we're not going to have a flying boat. Wait, if we keep the model airship, couldn't that teach people how to build the thing? And that's what she didn't want? I don't know, man. Whatever. You know who we haven't talked to? This lady. Who she got the hots for nowadays? All this time, my heart has wandered hither and thither in search of the perfect companion. When all along he was here, standing right beside me. Uh, goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> nope. <laughs> Sorry, I got jail, dude. Nothing personal, but... <laughs> oh, fuck, dude. <laughs> I don't suppose Jill's quest is just gonna be like... Joshua. Say hello to her and Red everything's gonna be alright. realized how different... But I suppose it's not. She doesn't think she... Bel and that's why we need to... To let her know that we still... But how to do that? Of course. Do you remember the time we accompanied... And Jill and I broke from the procession? I had to see the snow. It was the first time Father had... And when he realized you were missing... He had the entire... <laughs> In the rain. <laughs> it was the Lord Commander who finally found us. And neat. Then it seems you and Jill have on... Mount Hill. Oh, true. Though I suspect it is also much changed... You're saying I should go and scout the... I'm saying we should... <laughs> Alright, back to Rosaria. Oh. Hey! Okay. That's how we unlock that place. That's nice. As far as I'm aware of, off the top of my head, that was the last locked door. So that's something. The snow lilies look a little bit dead. Unless this is what they're meant to look like, but... This is the place, but... I don't I'm believe sorry, so. I'm sorry, Clive. We keep looking. Man's Hill cannot be the only... Perhaps, but it's the only place I know. Then why not ask someone who... Someone at the backyard. Jesus fuck, why? <laughs> why do we gotta go not only to the hideaway, but <laughs> to the worst fucking part of the hideaway, man? That's a good 10 minute walk right there. <laughs> fuck me. Well, whatever, we're here. We're gonna Let's do this shit first. Here has what Gav needs. Excuse me. A silver tr Oh, or maybe not. There was a man stopped by the wreck near some gut most. Took him for a braggart. We'll see. 
Okay, so there's one. Any other merchants know anything? Just because the heavens have gone to wreck and ruin, it don't mean yet. There's another. Hello, you. Oh, dude, you've the look of a man who could do with a new wet. Uh, I'm looking for a silk. Oh, if that's the case, no one has seen us. Word is, they were all hunted for their feathers. Some Nork. If any are still out there, I you're probably right. And one more. Where's the last one at? They hiding? It doesn't still hurt, does it? How big of an area is this quest? Ah, right there. Perfect. Hello. Can I help you with summer? You wouldn't happen to sell silver chocobo feathers, would you? <laughs> I deal in fruit, not fancies. But if it's fancies you're after, was a silver chocobo? Oh yes. It wouldn't be the first. A silver chocobo sight. Uh. I guess it doesn't really matter. The hills near Rhiannon tried. About the same distance either way. It sounds almost too good to be true, but since I'm already here, I would still argue that Ambrosia here is more or less silver. Why can we not just pluck a single feather from Ambrosia? I'm sure he wouldn't mind, or she? She wouldn't mind. Or hell, just riding her around, one sure to fall off at some point. And just pick it up. Tracks. Ah, tracks. More tracks. Well, the chocobo couldn't have just chocobo disappeared, so. Must be around here somewhere. I don't hear anything. Yeah, no, that oh, looks the yeah. same as Ambrosia's, man. We could have just taken one off them. Yeah, dude. <laughs> They're the same damn... Why the fuck did we... Jesus Christ. It's so it's fucking right. dumb. I'm not going to hurt you. Wait, does one of them... Oh, wait. For my friend. Neither one of them is Ambrosia, is it? Well, they look the fucking same, dude. We could have taken one from Ambrosia. Dumb as shit. Let's get this back together before they change their minds. Uh, I don't think there was anything else here to do. Nope. So it's back to the hideaway. Oh, shit. Let's hope one of the gardeners knows where to find snow daisies. God, I hope so, dude. Or actually, you know what? I hope they don't. Because no <laughs> if they don't, then we just don't have to go, right? We can just, <laughs> just pretend it never happened. Jill's fine. Any luckies? Chris Perrin. It's a long. I plucked it from the bird you've seen me ride many times, is what I should be si saying. Right there on the like, road to eat. Everything up there has been a the empty cabin made for the perfect shelter. Don't blame yourself, Clive. The blade's right. They'll find a new... After all. Anyway, what matters is... You and now all that's left... I didn't know you could cut. Mm. 
Reckon there's a light to fact. I'm as good with a whittling knife, and that bone ember gave me's a dream to work with. But it weren't your ravis, Sid. I slew one of my own at last. So all those long nights in the pit finally bore fruit. <laughs> Don't speak too soon. I ain't done much. There we go. That's cute. What you Glad we did all that work for it. If you ever hang up your scouting, I will. I. I should go and see if Edison. Give him one burst. Uh, you can give. I don't want to come on, dude. <laughs> I don't, I don't, <laughs> oh, I don't even trust the lady. I'm not sure why she's here. I didn't say she could stay here. Where the hell is she even? Oh, the infirmary. You know what? We're already like halfway to the to the thing. We're going to the thing first. Ask about the snow daisies. Say what you will. So what are we looking for? Another piece of dark steel. But that is definitely from a hunt. So unless we happen across the hunt while we're doing the side quest, we're not getting the best sword tonight. I'm still hoping to get the fucking side quest done tonight, even though technically we should have stopped like 10 minutes ago. What brings you down from the heavens, Sid? I need your advice. Joshua and I are looking for a place where snow daisies grow. Preferably in abundance. Snow daisies. Then you're not too uh, hot, not too cold, I you say. Mans both have similar climbs and the right elevation. Right. Wait, where'd she say? I didn't catch that. Did you learn where the gardener here mentioned the Royal Meadows in his oh, Royal Meadows? Ah. I recall that she kept the record of us. So I asked her if she'd perhaps noted anywhere that's through Shaw's border the meadows. So back to Sam Breck then, huh? Um Honestly. I think re-fast traveling to the place we're at will be faster than running across the hideaway. There's something about it. I wish we could run inside our base. It would certainly make things a little bit quicker. Just in towns in general, I guess. Hello, Edda. You popped that baby uh, out yet? Me lords. How are you feeling? Well. Is wrong? No. Go on. <laughs> I think Gav's in love, dude. Did you make it? We did. I. Ah, uh, it's a good look charm. We, I, I, I mean, a, a baby to let. Oh, I, 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 I thank you. If there's anything you need, I will. Oh, fancy a swift off. I could be convinced. What are you? <laughs> Don't you think you've had enough? No, we're celebrating. I'm gonna be a father. <laughs> yep. Okay. <laughs> so he is. Might have something to say about that. <laughs> ah, you know what I mean. Bit of light in these dark times. Oh man. <sighs> it wasn't long after me tenth name day. My mum told us she was with child again. <laughs> I was over the fucking moon. I was looking forward to having a little one to lord it over. What with me being the runt of the litter. Thought I'd finally have a chance to prove to the world that I could be a big brother. Imperials came the day she went into labor. Well, that Myself fucking sucks, baby dude. Sister. And then I didn't. She the was a bear. Gone in a blink while I hid in the cellar like the spineless little asshole I was. Great brother I turned out to be. I'll never be a leader. And I'll never be a hero. I'm just a daft little dog.
dog who comes running when his master calls. Oh, Gav, Be stop like being so hard you, on yourself. You're fine. Or Jill or even Toggle. <laughs> Have you finished? Oh, man. Maybe. I'm gonna need a nap after all this. <laughs> it started so strong. Do you know why you're our best scout? I see why I saw so many complaints about the number of side quests at the end of the game. Hold your like, hand. Without your resources, when I thought it was just eight, I was like, okay, that's not too bad. But then eight became I eleven. I was me. like, uh, and then eleven suddenly Maybe became fourteen or whatever, and it's like, okay, like, this is uh, going to be a bit much. That was only the once. Exactly. You learn from it, and here you are after founder knows how many missions, stronger for everyone. <laughs> And let's not forget Rosalith. Who was it who freed me from the dungeon? Who was it who ran to Jill's rescue? That would be me. Because you're our brother, Gav. My brother. Your brother. Which means that when the time comes, I get your room and <laughs> your sword. <Yep. laughs> That's what it means, all right. <laughs> I may have had one too many. I said I was gonna get back to work anyway. Uh, Clive? What is it? Thanks. I know. Glad we could help you out, my guy. You're a good dude. Wintermead. Ah, oh, just another memory. Okay, so that's everything here for the time being. Now we need to go back to Sam Breck, a couple places and Sam Breck. Uh, this one's closer to a teleport, so let's go there first. Deal with, I believe this is Jill. Looks like there's a little outcropping on the map, so I'm assuming that's where the meadow's gonna be. Can't help but wonder where the hunt was here. I wouldn't be mad if we came across it. It'd be one less thing for us to do before actually finishing the game next time. Wait, Quinton? Oh no, this is part of Three's company, okay. I saw that off in the distance. <laughs> I just, oh god. I have a proposal for you. Do you now? Something tells me you'll go on then. What was Three's company? I mean, I remember the show, but like, what was this about? Chiefs and chamberlains, and do the one thing that has proved impossible for thousands of. I know it's a lot to ask. And you'd have me give up what the people of Lost Wing are. You'll have to find someone. I'm sorry to... And why might that be? What he's asking. They want you to speak for those who can't speak. If it's the... We'll see that the grapes are picked and the... T it's not that. Then what is it? You know that's not... So then, then what's what the problem, Quentin? That only we are worth... Why turn your back on everyone else? Who's to say you couldn't convince the... Oh, that's right. He's our uh 
I fear that any rejoinder I make... Our arbiter. ...somewhat flat. So you'll join us. Huh. Field Marshal Havel will want to speak with you in person. I can arrange for a party of Kersbrit. That would be very much appreciated. I hear the roads are... <laughs> My uncle will want to know that his plan is taking shape. Yes, we still need to make another stop for that one, I guess. But it's getting there. That's what's important. And now my eye help the garrison today. <laughs> I don't suppose once we check this place out, Jill will just kind of like be there waiting for us? <laughs> or do we have to go fetch her and then come back? It'd be awfully convenient if we didn't. Those things didn't fight like men. Come, Ambrosia. The silver chocobo that we ignored. Faster. Apparently completely forgot about. My guess is it didn't let you just take one from Ambrosia in case you never did the side quest that unlocked Ambrosia. Meadows are vast. Where do we even start? Yote mentioned the coastline. But Start. it would have been nice if like the game had thought of that, you know? <laughs> like, hey, have you unlocked Ambrosia? Yes, then you can just do this one this way instead, you know? Like, multiple different ways to complete the quest. What are you, a lich? You look like a lich. Oh, wait. I didn't realize it could be on either side. Oh, that... Is that them down there? That looks kind of like them down there. Is this just a lich, though? Because if it is, we can just walk or run away. No, this must be the hunt. Yeah, okay. Yeah, whatever. Hey, I just said if we happen to find the hunt, I wouldn't be mad about it, so. And before he teleports. <laughs> Half stagger, nice. Aw, oh, what? I don't understand why some people seem to be immune or it's just broken or something whenever we try to deadly embrace them for the half stagger. Like. Pretty decent. Eighty two thousand. Not our best go, but pretty good. Soul harvest. I don't know if I agree with that. Oh shit. Okay, it's still going. <laughs> oh Jesus, it never ends. Yeah, he's like just immune to it or something weird. Aw, oh, damn, too far away. Oh, nice! Pairing with, uh, with Odin's sword's pretty sick. Come on, dude. Just hit him. Oh, shit. Wrong. <laughs> Wrong button. <laughs>
GG's. Will that give us the other dark steel? I'm still assuming it's gonna be the secret hunt that gives us that, but. Oh no, it did! Fuck yeah, dude. I'm getting to Okay, uh wait, <laughs> before we run back home, <laughs> let's at least finish the side quest. Uh Okay, this away. Yes. So that should be the best weapon in the game had now. Unless there's another, like, quest one that ends up being better, like the uh, belt or whatever that we got. What was it? The armband from our dad. That was it. Aw, oh, bruh. <laughs> we completely missed them, what, because they were flying? Everybody dies. Oh, nope. Somebody else is here. What do you see, boy? Ooh, a Minotaur. Haven't fought one of you in a little while. Let's hope this is the last one. Or Oliphant's Bull, whatever the fuck you are. Oh shit, we're almost dead. Oh, wait. Oh, that counts as part of the stagger? Let's go, dude. Where time hasn't even started to move yet. Perfect. Oh, I should have waited till after I... Whatever. Hundred and fourteen thousand three hundred and sixty six. I'm not mad about that. <laughs> Feels a little weird killing these like two little wolves now after downing that thing. Our main, some other shit we don't care about. That was harder than I expected. No, it wasn't. Now, for Christ's sakes, will Joe just like teleport here for us? Good founder. She loved them. It appears my work is done. The, well, we wouldn't want another thunderstorm. Hmm. I don't get it. <laughs> is, is he literally just saying like, "Oh, I hope it doesn't rain on your uh, on your date." I mean, me too, I guess. 
All right, Blackthorn. If you care, Paul. No trouble. What you want? This. I want Fly. this. If I do say so myself. That it. Half past twilight. Trophy earned. Let's go, dude. Best sword in the game. Not that we really need it, but still cool to have. Jill. There is? It's, uh, how would you fancy a trip to Oriflam? I want to know realistically, like, how much time have we wasted just traveling all over the continent? There are so many. This is what you want. Oh, yeah. You don't need to say anything. We've been worried about you. Do you remember when I took you to Mans? <laughs> you saw me crying and thought in the end it earned me a nasty cough and a stern scolding. <laughs> I'm sorry. Before we left, my chambermaid told me she'd overheard your mother talking about my... They were debating whether it would be more profitable to marry me off to one of the high... No one thought to ask me what I... I was nothing to them. I didn't know. But I wasn't alone. And I knew then, no matter what happened, I'll never forget that feeling. Ah, We loved each other. How cute. Before we broke camp, the morning after the storm, do you know what I did? No idea. No? What? I slipped away from my governess to climb the tour. And from there I saw a sea of petals, all reaching for the sun. And I realized... No matter how terrible the night, dawn would always come. I mean, not if Ultima gets his way, but that's 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 a good way to, good mindset though. Like you, you keep that hope. <laughs> that you would always come, for me. And you have. Okay, <laughs> sorry. Again. Yep. And yep. Again. I've come for you again and again. And I'll always come for you, Jill. <laughs> Where do you see us? Oh. When all this is over. I don't know. Not here, though. I think I've outgrown the twins. After everything we've been through, the realm just seems so small. I'll need some space to spread my wings. Then that's what you'll have. And I'll stop at nothing to see that you do. Hey, is that the first time we actually see them, like, kiss? I mean, it's presumed that they, you know, fucked back on Walud, but... It was much good at Garland's. <laughs> but it'll have to do. I'll treasure it forever. Thank you, Clive. For this, the flowers, uh, everything. It's exactly what I needed. You are my treasure. That's sweet, dude. Hey, at least that cutscene got you in the feels, man. <laughs> there was some substance to it. Oh shit, it's not over? 
We should probably be getting back. back. You're right. And we'll do it together. Bro, see, that's the shit I'm talking about. There was no point in that. <laughs> like the, the last three lines there, they could have just skipped that. That was just a needless time waster. <laughs> like, Jesus Christ, dude. Snow Daisy Gar Garland and Shiva's Kiss. That's not bad. Diamond Dust is pretty cool, but again, I'm not sure it's worth losing all the defense over. And there's no way we're getting rid of either of the other two things we have, so. Remain with him until departing for Origin. Oh. So wait, so now we have her and Joshua with us? Or is Joshua just saying, fuck that now that we're with Jill? Uncle. Field mark. Ha! Rutherford is accompanying him back to your They will await your return. One other. Lord Havel was concerned that even if he could get the realm's armies to agree to. He asked if. I might. One of your. Master Quinton would probably call me one of his. Another outlaw, then. Just the thing we need to put these rotten political. Good thinking, Clive. I'm glad you approve. The more the merrier. Uncle. Assuming Havel and Quinton can, you still haven't mentioned how we might manage the group. Oh, don't you? The seven high houses, will they have all agreed to make the most... Oh, of course, it did take a little, but luckily I had some... From who? Why, you, my boy. It was more of a handful. Well, the old Bakshi had a shipload of talents delivered to my private... And when the other houses saw the parsimonious old crone's purse strings finally loosen, they... <laughs> now, I must join us there at your earliest... Of course, Uncle. Do we actually have to join him there, or...? <laughs> I'm sure they can handle this without us. Nope, okay, we do. And you find another nope. bloody road! I only have... That is, unless you'd have... Well, that's certainly eight less. <laughs> Says the man with the... <laughs> My soldiers actually need their rations. They'll be dead even before you've sent them on your... <clears throat> if perhaps I might suggest, uh, though supply routes are indeed disrupted, there is no shortage of... Allow them to make port and fill their bellies full of... Ah, but I'm sure that you wish to... Two such firm friends as yourselves need no... Rutherford spoke fondly of the great... Us? I can't stand the man! Clive, I'm beginning to question the quality of the company you... <laughs> and what kind of company were you expecting him to keep the man's a... Criminal? How... How? You are not fit to breathe the same air as this... Fine! Upstanding! He calls himself... Once more unto the breach. Negotiations are going well, I see. <sighs> Shall we begin again? What we seek here is not to create a new nation. Nor we wish simply to bring stability to the realm. And to do that, we must convince those in power... The generals. There will be disagreements, yes. And I imagine some... If we show them the path, show them the fate of the world lies in my nephew, but the well-being of her people lies in our... Uncle Byron. Now, with that settled, for what great moment in history has... <clears throat> Citizens of Valisthea, I present to you... The Triunity. That's a fancy name. Not too catchy, though, I feel. Well, my boy. That it is. This is the role you were born for. We shall play our parts to the best of our ability. The realm needs its Sacrandal. I uh, want you to keep this sign. I will. Oh, God. What are we down to? One? Two, apparently. Both in Walud. Both in Walud. And around the same area, it says. Oh, one on each side of, <laughs> of this area. Okay, well. Uh, it says this one's closer, so let's go that way. Faster. 
Make for Garnick. Journey to the Bad Back Conservatory. I don't remember what we were doing these for. One was to find the list of people in the orphanage. Was that this one? That looks like an orphanage. So maybe. The entire village looks abandoned. Now. Well, what'd you expect, man? Which house would a book No, would this is the one for the book. Okay. I'm more excited for this one because I'm hoping it actually teaches us something about the history of bears. That would be nice. Um, we do have both. Jill and uh, Joshua with us now. That's nice. Happy to have them accompany us. I can't say that. <laughs> White of flower and black of root, the latter of which gives out an inky gall when cut or crushed. The tribesmen in northern storm prick their skin with oaken needles soaked in such, drawing curious patterns about their arms and legs in honor of their heathen gods. If the gall is passing toxicate that a single drop taken by mouth may result in cramps most painful for five days and five nights, or if applied to a wound, certain death. Should a slip of the needle end a young warrior's life, it is said that his skin print failed to find favor among the heavens. <laughs> his interests were certainly varied. Royal Intelligence Training Report. In the wake of the tragic fire at Karen Horvent in 873V and the subsequent depletion of our most highly practiced intelligencers, all mainland strongholds were instructed to redouble training in clandestine maneuvers, improvised weaponry, and assassination techniques, and dispatch promising volunteers to stone here for inspection. This report details progress made by the stronghold at Garnick in re reinvigorating Walud's ranks of esteemed intelligencers. This is a Royal Army logbook. Uh. Did he take this from the local barracks? Folklorists fabulary, the Moogle. No spirit of sprite appears more often in Valisthean folktales than the humble Moogle. Though they are occasionally painted as mischievous souls akin to pixies or imps, most stories depict them as clumsy yet con congenial spirits who delight in helping mankind with their daily labors. They are said to have sweet tooths leading to the common superstition that one must not leave cakes or other sweet meats uncovered overnight, lest not remain but crumbs come morning. The appearance, or in appearance, they are described as being covered head to toe in soft white fur, excepting the small, dark wings by which they are somehow able to take flight, and the brightly colored pom-poms that protrude from the tops of their heads. And yet there is one detail regarding the Moogle that most find more remarkable than ever, than even the orb that tops its brow, the fact that the creatures actually exist. Preposterous, I hear you cry. Everybody knows that Moogles are the stuff of legend. I quite agree, but every legend has its basis in truth, and in the case of the Moogle, the fact may not may be not so dissimilar to the fiction. Ancient bestiaries list the white mole whose feet do not touch the ground among the beasts of the realm, and the illustration besides the name but is none other than the Moogle. Of course, it is true that creatures are not known to still survive in the twins in the modern day. Perhaps their miniature wings carry them to other cl climbs? Perhaps they were hunted to extinction? Or perhaps, just perhaps, they do still live among us, hidden away far from human view? They do. I know of one. He's a friend. Chapter 16, The Fall of the Bearers. There we go. That was on purpose. Chapter 16. The emergence of the first magic adepts were was wildly heralded as a gift from the gods. Indeed, the title with which those with the gift came to be commonly known is most likely a contraction of Bearer of the Heavenly Blessing, the wording used by the tri tribunes of the time. Those born with the blessing were lauded as living crystals and granted high office and plentiful reward for the status as chosen ones. Over the years, this reverence for their kind would become a full-fledged religion led by the bearers themselves, a de development that would prove fateful. Mm, I'm seeing where this is going. The divers nations of the times were unanimous of their disapproval of the founding of the church. While the authorities had for years welcomed bearers into positions of power in their own structures of state, they were mistrusting of an organization led by bearers for bearers. Efforts were immediately made to ch chasten the church and its followers, banning members from holding office, evicting adherents from their homes, and breaking up meeting by force. The church responded by forming a volunteer army to resist this persecution, and yet it continued, creating a cycle of ever-increasing bloodshed and rancor and a growing rift between those born with the blessing and those without. 
What began with beatings and street clashes would eventually spill over into an all-out war that consumed the greater part of the twins for nigh a generation, and decimated the population of men and bearers both, the deluge of blood that stained the land crimson and left an even more lasting mark upon the minds of the Valisthean people. After the bearers' last resistance was crushed, the nations of Valisthea came together to sign the Continental Accord that initiated the system of slavery that persists across the realm to this day. Its, it's well-known phrase, bearers are other than human, has its roots in the bitter war of the years before, being the unblessed only excuse for their calamitous refusal to allow the blessed to decide their own destinies. This is it. But if what it says is true... I need to get this back to the hideaway. So basically, the bearers got a little too high and mighty. And the people weren't happy about it. Leaving so soon, stranger. We've been watching you. And forced them all into slavery. From a distance, so to speak. Subtle. I know who you are. Then we need not waste time on introductions. Hand me the book. Leave it in our care and return to your life. No. Your care? Do you mean to burn it or bury it? That is not my decision to make. But by one means or another, its contents shall be removed from the common record. Then I'll have to politely refuse. I won't let you erase our history. Then we find ourselves at an impasse. Very well. The book can just as easily be pried from your dead hand. If you've been watching us, then you know who we are, right? <laughs> I, I still don't understand why people think fighting Let's us see, is a good idea. <laughs> ah, Noodle, you're awake. Welcome back, love. <laughs> Meh to you, then. We're definitely dealing more damage now. We're also taking more damage because I'm being dumb. Oh, these guys are also only level 30 something. That's a, that might play a part in it. Literally moments too late. Little tunnel. <laughs> Aww, look how cute. I'm sorry you're so tired, love. Thankfully, bedtime soon. Impressive. But we have other means. We shall claim the book. Why do you want it so bad? It lays out in no uncertain terms. The it tells the shameful history of the... Would you say that this interpretation was correct? I don't know. You don't know. Your sword may be sharp, so let me answer. There is no correct... That a series of events took place may... It is a question. If enough people believe so you're trying to control we are trying to protect from knowledge that would bring that is all you may keep the book the world is small until then wait damn it and he's gone let's get this back to vivian on to the next one and hopefully final one good girl yeah Ever. <laughs> mm. 
Run, Ambrosia, run. Oh god, the rocky terrain sucks for... Chocobos. Is that... Can we get up there? Yeah. Ashic Sprinter. Look like a cross of Chocobos and Raptors. Okay, so we got to go all the way over there to loop up around. We have to climb the wall. Can we climb the wall? That'd be super convenient if it would let us. Oh, let's go. No! Come on, dude. I mean, by the time we're done fucking around here, we probably could have just... Alright, whatever. Just go around. Bruh, for real? Jesus Christ. Okay, get off the chocobo. <laughs> this obviously isn't working for us. <laughs> Too tight of spaces. This must be the orphanage. Hopefully the registry is still here. Ooh, chest. Probably useless. Yep. Badback Conservatory, writ of incorporation. The Kingdom of Wul Wulud hereby incorporates this institution wherein juvenile bearers are to be granted the opportunity to give themselves in service to the state as soldiers. Trainees succumbing to the Christmas curse or otherwise perishing are to be disposed of with all haste. The graveyard is strictly reserved for the uncursed. Bearers' disposal within its bounds is punishable by death. Uh, okay. Disposed of. Conditioning schedule. Today's exercise will consist of the press yard. 20 sandbags for such duration as instructors shall dictate. The furnace. Burn intensity to be gradually increased. Live combat. One to three hellhounds depending on performance. Conditioning. Okay. This is nothing short of torture. Oh, ooh. I've recently learned that my own daughter was among the children turned to stone by the brutal training I subjected them to. I had not so much as thought of her since handing her over to the authorities as a babe, but inquiries within the military confirmed it. It was her. I had been torturing my own flesh and blood. Now I see her everywhere. Today, one of the children smiled at me in the hope of receiving a few scraps from my table. It was her smile. The smile she inherited from her mother. The mother I killed for giving birth to a bearer. Their ghosts have all come back to haunt me. My daughters, my wives, all of them. All those children. So many have died at my hand. I can build the bear the guilt no longer. So I've decided, tomorrow, I too must die. It'll be the last order I give those poor wretches. The last torment I subject them to. I'll command them to tear me limb from limb and enter my accursed corpse beneath the white tree whose crooked hands reach to the sky in supplication. And beside me, my shame, my curse, the records of all their names, all those who I have wronged. Damn. <laughs> okay. That's heavy. Suicide note. Did the director go through with his plan? There's only one way to find out. Probably a chest or two hidden around there somewhere. Bet I don't care enough to check. Aha. Can we jump up this by any chance? No. Forked white tree. This must be the place. Oh, I kind of got to pee again. We're going to finish first, really though. We're so close. Idea. There's something hidden among the roots. Let's see. This must be the registry. Okay. 10 years old, 9 years old, 12, 11. Jesus, dude. So many names. This place was a slaughter. And where is the architect of all this misery? <laughs> 
Oh. Fine, we should have enough battery left. It was only a matter of time, I suppose. This place is cursed. Oh, damn you all. Oh, you freaking bastard. Oh shit, wrong button. <laughs> I'm like, why is it not working? That's why. Now come the mushroom dress as a bat for the Halloween collection this year? That's cute, love. Nope. Yep, nope, didn't think so. Oh my god, you're so annoying, just die. <laughs> I really wish that did a little more to the stagger gauge. <laughs> That should be, once we turn these in, that should be everything but the last couple hunts. Fingers crossed, my guy. As long as we turn these in and no more pop up. <laughs> How late am I playing for? Until these side quests are done. That's it. I'm hoping, like, another 10 minutes. <laughs> Just depends how long these cutscenes end up being. Ian. I planned on stopping about the a half uh, hour ago almost, but around 9.30, 9.45. But the yeah. side quest never stopped. Even though I asked this of you, I feared the executors had seen... I met with and I convinced him. He told me something, that the truth is just a matter of... And that if enough people believe a lie... It does, but it also means that the truth is not provided that those who wish to change it has the sad history. You said that the book inspired you to become... It did. She was a heretic. You... A gallows stood ready for her and, every... and by shunning society, or perhaps being shunned by it, I, too, have always felt... She taught me that my solitude and that though my journey to the truth do you still feel that way honestly i'm not entirely sure in perhaps the result of studying mankind from a rather but the more i study the more so if you'll permit me remember clive give the men and women of this i'll try vivi all right Helped Vivian. Now that one dude. Colors bonnet, another memory. Or curiosity, I guess technically they're called. Oh, we got another thingy. Oh, I wasn't expecting you back so. Here you are. Fallen Enigma. Wait, isn't that a recipe thing? Best oh, and that's there, that's everything? I didn't expect to have enough renown to get everything until we completed all the hunts and stuff. I thought we'd have to do everything to get everything. The Sambrek still. Walud and Walud. But we'll deal with that stuff next time.
for now, let's go give this guy his book so that he may remember his fallen friends. I guess friends. <laughs> Fellow captors? Or cap captives? Uh, words are hard. I hear that you did you by any chance. I did. The director was a brutal. The registry was all I found, but there was no sign of a body. I pray that at least all their names are here, my friends. I can still remember the children who were taken from. No explanation. They'd be happy to know that you survived. But why did I make it out alive? It's not your fault. See that their names live on. I'm going to write a book. All of Valis in the name of those I. Neither will I. These records. All right, so we helped the guy decide to write a book. That was a good side quest. Glad that's done. <laughs> really? I was expecting... No! The fuck, bro? <laughs> Why do they never end? Jesus Christ. Suspicious character? Think you freed the realm from her fate. The next, a darker one. Hmm. Last time we had a suspicious character in our area, didn't he like uh sell us out to, to Titan? Anyways, man, I was like I was waiting for the fucking achievement up to pop up for completing all side quests. I don't know for sure that there is one, but I'm assuming there is, right? It would make sense. And then it didn't pop up, so I checked the map, and there's another one. Oh my god. Is it the only one, at least? The only one that's showing right now. Well, I guess I didn't really look at Walud, but... Jesus Christ, man. What is it? Is it, I don't know. Hopefully it's just like, hey, let's have a party. You completed everything and <laughs> we don't have to do anything. Making amends. Master Clive, I'm aware that there are matters of much greater import which demand your attention, but should you find yourself a moment, I bid you visit me in the shelves that I might ask a single favor considering his pinus, Prince Dion. It's usually... Fuck! <laughs> Bro. Jesus Christ, okay. This has got to be the last one, right? The world's coming to an end, and we've spent God knows how many weeks just fucking <laughs> doing these side quests for people. Ah, yes. You spoke of making amends with then I should begin by this was some years ago of course. Ah, he was Before Dion's I tutor said in his hideaway. That's interesting. At that time I had to supervise all to ensure that the future emperor alas our time together was I had not expected to meet. Have you spoken with him? No, I his highness always seems so preoccupied not when I know he dwells upon the evil out of the guilt weighs heavily. But as you say that would... when I first met him it was not guilt, and I did nothing to ease that burden. It is one of my greatest regrets. when what he truly needed, the blame for Dion's transgressions. I see. I'm ready to help you in any way that... Then I beg that apothecaries across the ages what? agree that even to <laughs> glimpse such a flower, fabulists and frauds does all, the of course. Fuck? Well, oh, the fuck? Dion did star? like his flowers. You have seen cultivated wyvern tales before, I trust. Well, those which grow in the wild differ only in their purple hue. There is a waterfall. In Rick Mal's roost across whether they still survive there is all right. Thank you, Clive. Okay. So where the fuck is this place? Here. Uh, I guess it'd be easier to go from here. Hmm. 
and then across the bridge, right? Yeah. How the fuck did we get there again? <laughs> okay. This place is a bit confusing. And then that way. Okay, yep. Ambrosia Can we talk about? No. I was hoping, since, you know, all these towns are abandoned, that it would be fine, but I guess not. To go here, kill whatever's in the way of us collecting the thing. Take it back to Harpocrates, have a heartfelt moment with him and Dion. Run like the wind. And then be done with it all. Hopefully. Oh shit, my bad. I forgot about the swamps here. Jesus Christ, Ambrosia. You, see, you couldn't make your way around that for me? No holding back. You finished the cottage? Yeah, you can have it if you want, love. That's fun. I don't mind. See, this place has been flooded twice over. Purple flowers blooming next to a waterfall. Shouldn't be too hard to find. Next to a waterfall? So this is too far away. Ah, I see a waterfall. Oh, they're right here, aren't they? Yep. Straight home now. I don't think it's going to give us enough to get up to five. Nope. Still deal some damage, though. That should do it. Here they are. Back to Harpocrates, back to Harpocrates. Wasn't there a thing here? Rickmail's Roost, was this where? I don't know, whatever, one of the hunts were. We'll deal with it next time, I don't care. Do 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 Harpocrates, my guy. We got the thing. You gonna give it to him? This poisonous ass flower. <laughs> Osman, you did? I think I. <sighs> you wanted to make Dion a gift of one, did you not? Oh, it's no trouble. Of course. Um. Hold on, we have new Good lore. To you, my friend. I have a few Might as well turn it in real quick. That might interest you. I have quite the find for you today. Still don't really understand. Like, if you have a question for me, I should be what happy his. To Whatever, whenever he levels up and it's like, 
you know, he, he found out something new or whatever. Is it just more books that we can read there? <laughs> more Morpheus. entries, I guess, rather? No. Our lawsman has something he'd like. Master Hub, no. Not after everything I... I have taken count all because I would... I have sworn to atone for my... But were I to meet with him again... Then that is all the more attest your resolve. I must, at the very least. Very well, then. Follow me. So you're both nervous about seeing the other. That's fair. Sounds a little dumb to me, <laughs> but... This is an unskippable one, so we just gotta watch it. Oh, man. Even now, I hesitate to approach him. What must he think of me? You'd be surprised. So does this just get us him as a follower as well? <laughs> like it did with Jill and Joshua? Now that we're done doing everything? Well, I guess we still have a couple hunts to do, so... The more people, the merrier, I guess, to take him down. Master Harpocrates, pray. Accept my apologies for leaving your tutelage before my studies were complete. Your lessons opened my mind to a world quite unlike the one I had imagined from within the gilded confines of the palace. And I shall be forever grateful for the efforts you made to enlighten me. Lift up your head, your highness. The deeds of youth require no apology. That you took the time to visit me says much about the man you have become. Now, there is something I would like to show you. Is that a wyvern tale? The color is unfamiliar to me. Because it is unique to those found in the wild. Something in the harsh environments in which they grow lends them this striking hue. Their roots are indistinguishable from those of their hothouse cousins. But once they bloom, the difference is immediately apparent. In this flower, I see you, your highness. Its roots were the roots of a wyvern tail, with all that implies. But they do not define it, just as yours do not define you. I want you to have it, that it might remind you of this truth. Master Harpocrates. I would ask of you a service. Keep your gift. Until I have fulfilled my duty to the realm. For only then shall I be deserving of it. As you wish, your highness. I shall await your return. Hopefully he makes it back. It's really gonna suck if he doesn't. Our roots do not define us. No wonder my stepmother didn't like him. For reuniting me with memories I had thought long lost. So is there a game night tonight or not? Yeah, I'll be on. I shall not forget this. Though this would have held a lot longer than I had wished. I kind of need a nap, but... <laughs> I 
I'll be alright. Because, fingers crossed, we're wrapping up this now. <laughs> and that'll give me enough time to at least grab something to eat. Thank you, Clive. Were it not for you, not to mention the wyvern tales. I hope the soil in the hideaway is to... Why? These flowers bloomed in the bleak, black way... What's this? A stolus quill. Or more precisely, it is said that an owl's feathers must so consider this that one day... Well, thank you, Harpocrates. Come on. You give us the, the, the thing. Bahamut's Mercy. That's nice. I don't actually know if there is an achievement for completing all the side quests, but... Oh god, I hope not, because we didn't get one. <laughs> I don't see anything on the map, though. Anywhere. <laughs> so, I have to assume that's it. Where's the... Where's the achievements? How do you get to achievements on here? I forget. Probably not in the switcher. Trophies. There we go. Uh, I don't care. Review. Fulfill a legacy? Meh. Defeat a boss without taking damage? Oof. Uh, Fatal Attraction, Never Going Down, Road to Redemption, My 100 Total Hits, no, Precision Dodge, oh snap, these are all like specific things, I don't care, oh, well there we go, okay, so yeah, 29 out of 32 hunts, so we know that's about done, for the Horde, that's Curiosities, That'd suck if there is, and it's missed by one. <laughs> I know, right? That's what I'm hoping doesn't happen. Is there a way, can we like sort by not earned? There we go. A few five enemies in the air. Two key ways, land gorge, learn enemy. Clear the hunt board. Okay, we're almost done with that one. All curiosities. Permafrost. Fulfill a legacy. What does that mean? I'm assuming that's just like some sort of story thing. Defeat a boss. Dodge. Steel counter. Great all feats and shit. Complete trials. Complete the game on the harder difficulty, and then just all earn stuff. Okay. So there's just not an achievement for that. That's fine. I'm okay with that. <laughs> just hopefully, hopefully, they're all fucking done, dude. No one posted, so I wasn't sure if something was discussed on Saturday since I clocked out. Guess I'll wait to take night. <laughs> if you're sick, man, by all means, like, 100%. If you're still not feeling well, do not worry about it. We can play, you know, something else as a group. I don't want you to, you know, hurt yourself. Not hurt yourself, but seriously, though, if you're sick, just let me know. Anyways, because if you're sick, I'll probably just end up. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. But that is all we have time for tonight, guys. We are already late as hell. Uh, I'll be back. Uh, I don't know. Maybe Wednesday, probably Thursday to hopefully complete the game but there's still like two or three main missions left so i'm guessing two more streams i'm guessing but the game's almost done i'm excited to get back to the regular ps2 stuff we haven't been playing normal ps2 games in so long now i miss them i hope you guys will join me uh not only for the end of the game but whenever that happens until then have a wonderful night everybody thank you one last time and as always be kind to each other <laughs> bye bye y'all yeah I uh, I did have a cat that I cared for a lot, and uh, she died pretty much early as a kid, and that that sucked, dude. That was a rough couple of days, but make Google pick. <laughs> All right then, fine. Husky, uh, are you picking any noodle, any any breed at all? If you don't want to be a tiebreaker, because we got Beagle, Husky, Terrier.
Do you want to throw another one into the mix? You're not good with decisions? Oh my god. I love this woman.